Welcome to the stream, boys. So we're live. Today, we're going to be starting Bloodborne. Uh, it's going to be an absolute task to finish this game. It's been a while. It's been like over a year since I last played it. So I'm a little bit uh, cautious as to what's going to happen, but hey, let's fucking get into it. That's all I can say. I'm just going to tweet the stream out real quick. Everyone come join the stream for some Bloodborne gaming. There you go. Right. It's time for us to finally, finally play Bloodborne. Um, man, it's been, it has been a while since I played this game. Headphones on. Oh, that is loud. Is my mic on? My mic's working. It's all good. Okay. All right. We're going to play offline because I don't want invaders and stuff like that. We're not going to continue. New game. Oh, Let's yeah. go. I love this game so much. Such a good game. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. Now, just everything about like the tone of this you game is just like so cool. Like, I don't know what it is. Hello, everyone. Welcome the to the chat. Like yourself to begin. Right, my hair is looking mental. Literally, after pretty much every stream, I've only just got out of the bath. So, so excuse the hair. First, you need a contract. Oh, he's got no fucking eyes. What's he doing? <coughs> Does Bloodborne have a good story? Nah, well, I'd say it depends on what you mean by good story, though, because, like, you know, I'm just going to be old, an old, old man. Mature. Um, yeah, it depends on what you mean by good story, because I think it's got a pretty good way of telling its story, but a lot of people think it's, it's not on the nose enough. I actually don't know which one to... Stars. I think I might start with whoever's got the highest vitality. Lone Survivor. High life essence and vigor. Oh, it's vigor in this game. It's not vitality. Um, terribly violent past. I might be Lone Survivor. Fuck like it. It doesn't really change anything. Uh, our appearance. No. Age. Yes, I've already done that. Voice. Mature voice. Right, let's make him a fucking thick boy. Large head. Must be full of brains. That's great. Very burly. Let's have the burliest man we can find. Alright, I never really care about this stuff. To be honest, when it comes to Dark Souls. Let's see if do we have like facial hair we can put on him? Yeah. Beard. Let's just give him a huge beard, like just a massive fucking beard, like that one. Just give him like, oh my god, you can have like anime hair. It's been so long since I played this. Oh, women hair on a male. Looks really good. I don't know what woman hair actually is to be honest. It's just a ponytail in it. Right. <coughs> 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 Let's just use the default hair. Alright. Fuck it. I can't be asked to fuck around. Alright. Where's your full body of armor ready for the stream? <laughs> oh, God. Nah, I need a hunter's attire. Like a hunting hat. I'm give him a tattoo. How are these tattoos? I, I don't see how these are really tattoos, to be honest. Glasses. He can wear, like, cool fucking spectacles and shit. Steampunk ass spectacles. Oh, monocle? I'm fucking putting that on. Right. There's our lad. There's our lad right there. He's looking brilliant. <coughs> Jesus. Um, camera is having a seizure every now and then. Oh, shit. Yep, yeah, I noticed that before the stream, actually. One moment. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. I need to just pin my hair back with this. Um, yeah, let me go to the webcam and just deactivate it and reactivate it real quick. That usually sorts it. That's usually like the fix for everything. If not, it's a connectivity issue and I'm going to have to fucking disconnect and reconnect it. Like do a hardware disconnect, which I cannot be asked to do, to be quite honest with you. Right, yeah, 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 yeah we're done. We're done with this. Let's finalise the contract. Let's go. 
Still got the COVID. I don't think I have COVID, all right. My test came back negative. I'm fine. Hey, finish. Oh, enter a name. Guys, can we get some name suggestions in the chat? Because I don't know what to name my character. You know, he's looking like quite the gentleman, if I do, if I do say so myself. Oh, you can't see him at the minute. But he's got a monocle and a beard, and he's got his hair slicked back. He is looking like a gentleman. What should we call him? I'll pick the one that I think is the funniest from the chat. I'm just waiting for it to catch up. Diogo's playing one of my favourite games. Hey, look. Oh, this is one of my favourite games of last gen as well. It's, it's, a, it's a good time, man, playing a bit of Bloodborne. It really is. Aladdin Fox, your Raptor, Greg, Fat Fox. Quite like your Raptor, to be honest. <laughs> Brian, Burly Man, Evil, Bartholomew, Jordan Raptor. Ah, oh, it's, surely it's got to be Jordan Raptor. It's got to be. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh. we got to call him Jordan Raptor. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Jordan. Jordan Raptor. We'll call him Dr. Jordan Raptor. <laughs> Dr. Jordan Raptor? Oh, we can't put a space after it. It'd have to be like that. Dr. Jordan Raptor. <laughs> what a silly name. Right. Also, has your mic gone deep, or is that your voice now? And I've forgotten how deep it is. Yeah, no, this mic don't go deep anymore. This is a new mic. I bloody hope it doesn't go bloody deep. Dr. Jordan Raptor? All right. Here we go! Gonna play some fucking Bloodborne. I'm so ready for this, man. I really am ready for this shit. I, I love this game so much. So much. Sup, boys? Hello, Power Drip. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Um, let me know if the audio levels are okay as well, obviously, as per usual, we always have problems in terms of audio on these streams, and it just, honestly, it's it's not a good time, is it? Dr. Jordan Raptor? Like, is the game volume okay? Is my uh, voice volume okay? You know, stuff along those lines. Hey guys, Dr. Jordan Raptor here, back with another surgery. <laughs> you gotta be a doctor in this game, you know, it's all about blood. You gotta know what you're doing when it comes to blood. Can't wait to see you spend an hour on the character creation. <laughs> Thing is, with get with like the Soulsborne games, I don't like to spend a, a lot of time on the character creation. I want to get straight into it because you're not even going to be seeing your character's face. Like we're going to be wearing like hunter clothes over over this dude, so it doesn't even matter anyway. This is the bit where it gets spooky, boys. This is a bit where it gets scary. Oh, what are we gonna do? You wake up, you look around, where's the old man gone? He's gone, but there's blood all over the floor and there's a fucking horrible beast coming out of it. The state of that. Look at the absolute fucking state of that. Werewolf. Imagine that coming at you. It's like your sleep paralysis demon. It's that thing. It's covered in blood. Look, get away from me, bro. You ain't touching me. Dr. Jordan Raptor. <laughs> Dr. Jordan Raptor is operating on himself. <laughs> Yo, he just got messed up for no reason. I still don't understand that bit and why he turns into flames. Like, I, I do not know. have no idea. Hey, you. You're awake. You're finally awake. Oh, look, it's the little things. I love these things. They're great. They're great little things. They look horrible, but they are nice little gamers. You know, they do, they do bits for you. You look like my Red Dead character. <laughs> The cum dog. You found, found yourself a hunter. I love the fucking doll. The doll from the hunter's dream is great. Oh, 30 FPS. I just wish. I just wish it was 60, man. Imagine playing this game in 60 FPS. Right, okay. We're going the wrong way. Wait, what was that? Inspect. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Well, that's very cryptic, isn't it? Honestly, most of the notes in this game and like the little hints... It really, really doesn't make any sense, but that's just how it is. Look, there's little gamers on the floor and they have notes for you. They're so cute. They're so sweet. Okay, so we're just going to run straight through and straight past this beast because, to be honest, we're, there's no kid in this dude. Get straight out of Yusefka's clinic into the fucking wider world of Yarnum. To be honest, he's gonna kill me! 
Give me them quick silver bullets. Let's get this gate open. Look, this dude just got a fuck off, okay? So we don't need him. Every day I wake up in 30 FPS. Dr. Jordan Raptor has come into the ring. He really has. Right, I don't actually know which way to go. Pretty sure this is locked. Yeah, it is. Okay, we have to die at some point, like, soon. Because... You actually, that's how you get a weapon, is by dying. And these dudes are... They really are trying to hunt me. Yeah, I don't I don't think that opened this door. No, it didn't. We should gonna have to go down. Oh my god, that dude was thirsting me just then. Blood vials? I'll happily take some. Okay, we gotta let this thing kill us, because there's actually no way of us, like... We don't have a weapon. Away! Away! We can, like, slap him with our hand. That don't do nothing. Okay, let's just let him kill us, because that's how we move on with things. So just kill me. Come on. I'm so happy to be playing this game again. Like, it's so beautiful. So nice. There you go. The first death of many, my friends. The first death of many. We're gonna we're gonna die a lot of times. A lot of times indeed. Also, if you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the stream. Give it a share if you can, if you want to do that. I know people don't really do that anymore when it comes to like watching streamers. They don't necessarily they don't really share, but if you want to, go ahead and share it. Stuff like that. Here we go. The Hunter's Dream. Which is a beautiful little place. It's, that, it's like the Firelink Shrine of uh, Bloodborne. You karate chop them. You do. You do. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that scared me. Dr. Jordan Raptor has passed away. Is Dr. Jordan Raptor? Are you here today to do some Bloodborne gaming? Alright. See, there's the doll. She comes to life. But at the minute, she isn't. And these dudes, you can buy stuff off of. But we don't have any blood echoes, so there's no point. We're going to have to go talk to German. Uh, I think we can choose we can choose a weapon here. So I'm going to choose the saw cleaver because I think it's the coolest. I like the saw cleaver a lot. Um, we can also choose a firearm. I'll choose the pistol because I don't really care. I, to be honest, I don't really use ranged in this game. Open the door. Oh, it's closed. Okay, so in our hand we put that. And in our other hand... I don't actually know how to put stuff in your off hand. Oh, there you go. Hunt a pistol. There you go. So now we're holding gaming pistol. Pretty sure to attack. You do that. That's heavy attack. That's how you charge heavy attack. To activate the trick weapon, you press L1. Okay. Just getting used to the controls this game again, because it has been a long, long while. Alright, closed. Guessing we have to go back to Yarnum. I think, anyway. It's been a while since I've played this game, so be be patient with me, okay? Be patient with me. Oh my god, it's Jordan Raptor. Will this be a platinum run? <laughs> no, no. This is a series where I'm playing all of the notable PS4 exclusives from this generation in anticipation for the PS5's release. So I have another 13 games after this one to complete, so definitely, definitely not. I'm pretty sure we can talk to Yosefka if we go back this way and she doesn't actually let us in. There's a reason later on, though, that we'll find out. There's a reason why she doesn't let us in. Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here are How many streams do you reckon this will take? <sighs> I do not know. Oh, look, it's Dr. Jordan Raptor. Oh, my God, he's in the fucking chat. Dr. Jordan Raptor? <coughs> This is all that I can do. I don't know what she gives us at this bit, actually. Yosefka's blood vial. I don't actually know what that's used for. Ah, so it's just a one-time use thing that gives you more health. Well, that's pointless. That's not something that I want at all. Okay. Onwards. We're going to exact our revenge on this fucking beast. Oh, my God. All right, I forgot how actually stupidly difficult most of the enemies are in this game especially these dudes like I don't like these dudes right look blood vial I'll take him okay ah how did I even how did I miss that dude 
Up we go. Out into Yarnum. Look, it's... I don't know why it seems different around this area. I don't know. <coughs> Close by a device. How about you eat my ass? Look, if I remembered how to play this game, it'd be a lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> where do we go? Right. I'm guessing it's around where the device, the contraption is. Is this open now? Alright, bro. Cursed beast. I'm not a beast, bro. Do I look like a beast to you? I'm a hunter. I'm an epic Chad hunter. Blood oh, Echoes retrieved. There we go. Ah, oh, Molotovs. Absolutely banging. No, I don't want that. Molotov. Pretty sure it's square to throw Molotovs, so. We will do that at some point. Oh, there you go. I didn't even know this ladder was here. I'm playing Bloodborne at the moment and I keep dying to Vicar Amelia. To be honest, it's been so long since I played this game, I don't actually know what boss that is. Or if that's a boss at all. Like, it's. It's been a long while. There you go, there's the first lantern of many that we're gonna light. Lamp, I mean. Okay, we'll unlock that at a later date. Uh, well, a later point. I just wanna speed through this first bit and get to Cleric Beast as soon as possible. Hey, bro, look, you're just doing nothing but a bitch, boy. Lucky for me, I remember this first part of Yanlin pretty well, because I had to walk through it so many fucking times. There you go. But yeah, the combat in this game is very, very, very enjoyable, if I do say so myself. Oh, God. Except when you get into combat situations like this, with like, fuck tons of dudes at once, it just... It gets a wee bit scary. Oh my god, okay, it does. It does get a wee bit scary. Right, stay away from me. Stay away from me. How do I pop blood vials again? I completely forgot. It's, is it triangle? Okay, it is triangle. Thank god I remember that. Yeah. I need to get back into that souls... That souls swing of things. I really do. Hey, bro. This is what you get for doing damage to me, you absolute pussy. Right, there's something back this way. I know of it, because there were so many enemies. Ah, there you go, shortcut. We love to see it. Ah, there's a dude back there as well. You love to see it, boys. Shortcut. I don't think we can take that dude on. I'm not going to go back there. He looks fucking scary. There's probably something back there, but to be honest, it's not worth it. I'd rather make some progress. Into the hunt. The night of the hunt. Outside on the night of the hunt. I don't think there's any, uh, uh, way of. Hey, I didn't even see you there, bro, you crazy guy. Never played this game, but I think we're gonna have to be on PS Plus collections, I think. Uh, honestly, man, I recommend this game to anybody. It's so good. Such a just. Just so, it's, it's so eerie. There's something so eerie about this game. Ah, oh, Bloodstone Shard already. Yeah, it's just, it's such a genuinely eerie game. Like, I can't put my finger on it, but it's, it's definitely that gothic horror and um, Lovecraftian inspiration. Like, just look at the city of Yarnum. This is not somewhere you want to be. Wait, why do I hear someone? Jesus, man. You scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, there's more. Jesus Christ. There you go. Right. God, I think I might stick with the saw cleaver for the entire game. Well, actually, no, no, no. You can get you can get dual blades from killing uh, a certain person or doing her quest. But to be honest, I can't be asked to do her quest. So I'm just going to kill her when I see her. Uh, we, can, we can get dual blades from her. Um, and we can do a, we can do like a bleeding run because I've seen that bleeding is like a really OP stat in this game. Hey yo 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 yo! I've completely forgot about stamina for some reason. Right, let's buff blood bar. I have to go to class, so I'm just gonna leave a like and go. Hey, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, let's read the chat a little bit. Never played this game. Oh, already read that one. Of course. 
game of the generation material. It is. It is. I think. I think you wouldn't be out of you wouldn't be out of place saying that. To be honest, people that say this is their favorite game of all time, I really don't blame you. To be honest, like it is just one of those games. It's just so fucking good. Right down we go into the crowd of boys. There you go. Okay, those dudes that are shooting us, we gotta be careful of them because they they do pack a little bit of a punch. Oh my god, that dog just sent it. See that bullet go past my fucking head? Oh, dog. 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 Okay, I got a pop another blood vial. Oh, I love the combat in this game so much. There's just something so rewarding about it, like just getting hits on enemies, man. And to be fair, it had, it had this was the game that included that feature where it was like if you do damage to an enemy, you um you get your health back if if you do it quick enough. If you if you rep come back with a little reprisal quick enough. How did he miss that? That was fucked. It's a very satisfying combat system. Cold do. Wait for us to get some blood echoes if we need it. I love the combat in this game. It just, it just, oh, it's just—it's so satisfying. Except with the real bread and butter is when we get to them bosses. Oh, come on, man! Are you really gonna not let me pick that up? Is this game better than Dark Souls Three? See, that's hard for me to—that's really hard for me to say because Dark Souls Three was my first Souls game, so I, I really love that game. Um. But in terms of tone, I think definitely Bloodborne is better than 3, Dark Souls 3. Um, they're both just such amazing games. Like, if you haven't played Dark Souls 3 and if you haven't played Bloodborne, or Sekiro Shadows Die Twice for that matter, I really recommend all those games. And Dark Souls 1. The only game that I can't really recommend is Dark Souls 2, because it was sort of bad, but... I don't want to say it was bad, because it wasn't bad, it was just, like, a bit odd. Oh, this is one of the cool optional bits of dialogue you can do. Outside on the night of the hunt. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. <laughs> poor, poor thing. <laughs> She's laughing at me. She's laughing at us, boys. Come on. What does she? What does she think she's doing? I do like those little optional things though, because you never get to actually see the people's faces, but you get to hear their voice, and that's like enough personality on its own. Right, so this dude's gonna get catch the slump. Right, I should not have done that. Oh, blood ball to be safe. Come on, hit me. Look at this dude. Oh no. Give me a clip round the ear. There you go. Okay. Pretty sure there's some oh, more Molotovs. This is gonna help with the cleric beast. The cleric beast gets fucked by fire damage. More blood vials. We love to see it. Bloodborne better simply for the atmosphere. Something very eerie and mysterious in this game. Hope to see a sequel on the PS5. Easily a top neck uh, game with it in the gen. Yeah, definitely, man. What is this hunt about? All right, I'll give you a little bit of backstory, uh, as best as I can, because it is quite. It's quite. Um, what's it called? It's quite difficult lore to wrap your head around. But there's a curse that has afflicted the city of Yarnum. Because they've been messing around with blood, and blood is basically life essence of this of this game's universe. Um, and there's there's a curse within the blood that turns men into beasts, and uh, it's basically up to the hunters of Yarnum or the hunters of I don't know if they're if they're exclusive to Yarnum, but the hunters of, of this game's world to basically hunt down these beasts, cut cut down the the curse, and bring bring things back to normal basically. But there's there's a whole lot more to it. Um, way more to it than meets the eye. Um, if you look at in the top right, you can see a little eye symbol. That means insight, and that's basically when you get that up, you can start seeing these godlike beings, beings called amygdalas. That basically, they're sort of like uh, eldritch gods, like um, oh fuck, like Lovecraftian, like horrible, disgusting gods that, that are just always there watching you, but you can't see them unless you have your insight start up. Uh, but yeah, the the lore of Bloodborne is it's very fucking extensive, really cool, based on Lovecraftian horror, my favourite type of horror, because cosmic horror is literally the coolest type of horror you can have, and and yeah, 
That's basically the the that's that's the bottom surface with well, the not the bottom level. That's the surface level of Bloodborne's uh, world and lore. It's it's very. I mean, I might not have even got that right, to be honest. Like, there's there's a lot of things that I could have missed out there. But that's basically what I gather from it, from watching videos and reading item descriptions and sort of getting involved and enveloped in the world. It's a very, very good world. Very, very good. Although a lot of people don't give these games a chance because they're like, oh, just boring dodge, hack and slash. <sighs> Alright, we're going to have to bait one of these dudes into coming over here because I don't want to fight both of them at once. And then right at the end there, I'm pretty sure is the Cleric Beast past that door, right at the end. Let's see what's down here actually, because I do quite like exploring. I just hope we don't get fucked, to be honest. Ah. And there you go, there's the fire that we were just pa passed earlier. It's cool, in this game as well. Um, so what was the start about with Dr. Yor Jordan Raptor being on the table and such? I don't know, actually. That, that bit still confuses me to an extent. This game also has something to do with dreams, which is why when you go back to the, the, like, the hub area where you can upgrade your stuff, it's called like the Hunter's Dream. I don't know what it means. I, feel, I, I don't actually know what it is. Um, and I don't know what the interest with dreams is. And I also don't think we're meant to be down here. Oh, God. I don't like those dudes. They make really weird noises. Oh wait, can I get up back here? Please tell me I can get up this way. Also, if you haven't done so already, lads, be sure to drop a like on this stream. Let's see how many we're able to get. Yeah, last do as the Mario man says, all right? Do as he says, and no one gets hurt. George, you can skip Cleric Beast and go straight to Father Gascoin. I know, I know, Cleric Beast is optional, but to be honest, I want to do Cleric Beast for the Blood Echoes. So I'm going to have to find a way of... I'm going to have to find the next, uh... What's it called? Um... Uh... What was I, what was I saying? I lost completely lost my train of thought there. I have to find a, I have to find a lantern to go back to Hunter's Dream so we can get back to Cleric Beast because I want the blood echoes from it. It's a fun little boss as well. It's not too hard. Oh my god! I just nearly jumped down there. Okay, we gotta fight one of these dudes now, and I do not like these guys. Oh, he's doing fire damage. Okay, there you go. I remember the I remember that guy being a lot difficult when I first played this. To be honest, a lot more difficult. Um, Doom is a mindless streamer. Doom is a mindless shooter. Nothing but shooting easy demons that don't provide a challenge. My expert opinion of seeing someone perfectly play the game against every type of demon says so. I don't know what you're on about, bro. If you, if you give Doom Eternal a go on the high, hardest difficulty, honestly bro, it's, it's not for the faint of heart, it really isn't. I do like the more aggressive style of play in this game, how it's pretty much like, it's almost encouraged to spam the fuck out of enemies, because that's how you get your health back. When is the first boss? It's in a second, it'll be in a second, um... I just need to find my way to it, because I've gone the wrong way, basically. I just want to find the next, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, this is the dude that I don't fucking like. Okay, let's get away from him. Pop another one of these. Come on, bro. There you go. There you go. Got some blood vials. You love to see it. Okay, yeah, first boss will be in a second. It really isn't. I did 180 undoing with your review. I don't know what you mean, bro. You go down the building to the left of the bridge and open the gate next to the lantern you already have. Look, I'll, I'll find my way. I'm not good at taking directions from like, from people speaking. So I'll just, I'll find my way there. It's okay. In other words though, fighting rats in this game is fucked. I don't like the rats in this game. Although I don't think they're nearly as bad as the rats in like Dark Souls. Which game is it where rats give you poisoning when they when they attack you? Is it Dark Souls One? Like I'm pretty sure it is Dark Souls One, isn't it? Man, I'm so happy to be playing this game. Like I fucking adore Bloodborne. With every fibre of my being, I adore Bloodborne. 
Oh my god, he just missed me. He missed me with that gay shit. Look at that. We're storming through this shit. I mean, I changed my opinion. I always thought that Doom was pretty mindless. First game was great. Eternal is incredible. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, man. I thought you were trying to say that, that my review of the game made you hate Doom. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not mindless at all. It's, it's, it, is, it is definitely a really well thought out combat system. Like, it's... A lot of people don't seem to give Doom as much respect as it deserves. Especially these days, you know. People just see it as an oh, old boomer game. What game are you playing after Bloodborne? Uh, oh! Okay. Bro. After Bloodborne. Oh! One minute. Fucking hell. That scared the shit out of me then. I thought we were going to die. After Bloodborne, I'm pretty sure it's Uncharted 4. If I'm not mistaken. So it will be... Game, a good game after good game, really. Oh, there you go. Okay, hunter garments. Let's put those on. Because this is like the sweet looking outfit. Look at that shit, bro. There you go. We're a hunter now. We're a true hunter. Would you say this is better than Dark Souls 1? Uh, I'd say so. I'd say so. Yeah, check the description for game order, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, no, 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 after Bloodborne, it's Order 1886. There you go. <laughs> At Longed Fox, you do me proud. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Jordan Raptor. I really am. Right, so where do we go from here? Because there's no way to get down from here unless we, like, jump down. Like, onto this next ledge. Yeah. I don't think this is the way of doing it, but we're going to do it this way anyway. I'm so fucking scared right now. Okay, these dudes come to life, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Jesus! Everything wants to fucking kill you in these games, man. Okay, let's get that backstab in. Look at that. Okay, the I fucking hate these dudes. Throw a Molotov at him. Oh, there you go. Molotov fucked him all. Oh, apart from this guy. There you go. IMO combat wise a lot better than Dark Souls 1, but world design is a bit inferior. Yeah, I get what you mean. I mean, it's hard to beat Anor Londo. Like, it, and, and like places like that is incredibly hard to beat such iconic places. Uh, but I think Yarnum really does hold up as it, like, within this sort of game series. It's a very memorable location, definitely. Blood Vial. I was, I was actually going to do a review of this game um, last year. I was going to do like a, oh, I finally finished Bloodborne. But I just didn't, I never got around to it. Like I, f I filmed all the gameplay and everything, but just I didn't think, I didn't think it was, not that it was, wasn't worth a video, but like, what am I going to add to everything that everyone else has said about Bloodborne? Like, come on. Um, yeah, it is Order 1886 next, which to be fair, I'm quite excited to play because I've never played it before in my entire little life, so. Right, so we can either go this way, up that ladder, or down that way. Fuck me, man. Honestly, such a fucking maze. You never know if something's going to drop on your head either. Because it can do. It can drop on your fucking little cranium. You couldn't have an Anor Londo here. Very different world. Yeah, it is a very different world. Vastly different. <coughs> a review of this game would be sick. You could talk about all the bosses and the lore would be sick. I would love to. But I think I'll have to give it a while because obviously I'm playing this on stream. I don't like review. I don't like reviewing games that I've streamed because I like to have the gameplay without me in the fucking like top right. Uh, but you know, may never know. Maybe one day I'll come back and I'll do a I'll do a review of Bloodborne because this is one of my favourite games of all time. So good. So I don't actually know where we're going right now. But we've made it back up out the sewers. There's a gentleman here. Would you look at that? We just fucked him. 
Order 1886 is more story based game, but it is quality. I'm glad to hear that to be honest, because uh, people were giving the Order 1886 a bit of shit, so I was a bit skeptical of it. Wait, what's going on down there? I mean, over there. What's this? Ah, oh, it's a. Another person. It's always so cryptic what the people are saying, and like you can hear that creepy laughter coming from behind the door. It's like you know it's safe in there, but you feel so isolated outside. Like there's nobody walking the streets apart from these madmen that have been afflicted by the curse. Like this, so good. How do you how do you nail a tone like this? Like I don't understand it. Honestly, playing Bloodborne before Dark Souls helps so much. Yeah, I think it does. I think it definitely does. Ah, closed by a device. Fuck you. Yeah, it definitely helps playing this game because it, it this game rewards you for being aggressive and you can sort of transfer this game into into um Dark Souls. The same works with Sekiro. With Sekiro, if you've played the other games beforehand, you know there's some times where you have to be a little bit careful, but there's other times where, you know, um What am I saying? Uh, there's other times where you you have to be aggressive as fuck. Is a Demon Soul remaster or a remake? It's a remake, yeah. So it's, it's not nothing like the original. Oh wait, did I completely miss the fucking device right there? It's not nothing like the original. I mean, I I, I haven't ever played the original Demon Souls, so I wouldn't even really be able to tell you. Um, but I'd say it's I'd say it pays homage to the original. You know, just like remasters should do. Okay, so we're back here now. If I'm not mistaken, this is where this is where the dogs were before. Yeah. Where's the dog corpse? I don't know if it, if dog corpses stay here, but yeah, we have killed dudes here because there's a corpse right here, as you can see. So, if we go back this way, find our way to the cleric beast. Okay, this is where we were, yeah. This is where we were, with the beast. So we got to bait one of these guys over to fight us. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you. Throw one of these. To be honest, I do love the saw cleaver. It's fucking sick. These guys can really fuck you up as well. Oh no! The other one's come over. Oh god! Fuck, no, 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 no. I'm running back this way. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, man? Okay. Pop the blood vial. Fuck it, I'll pop another one as well, I'll just be back at full health. Alright, bro. You're getting a Molotov? To the face? Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me. There you go. Oh, fuck you know. These dudes are scary, man. It's once you get used to the... The thing is, it looks so... It must look so easy right now. This really doesn't do justice to how difficult Bloodborne is. But once you get used to the telegraphed attacks of bosses and how they, or enemies and how they like delay their attacks, you can really start to dodge pretty fucking easily, to be honest. So we're gonna go do Cleric Beast now. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to one first try it. Yo, bro, who do you think you are? Come on, man. This dude just saw me kill two werewolves and he's still gonna try it. You know, that's got some dedication. Uh, so there's some fucking. Come on. Let's take out his little bitches first, then we'll go for him. Come on, bro. Oh, that was almost a fucking backstab then. What kind of build are you going to do? I think we're going to have the dual blades. We're going to see if we can get some bleeding mods. Bleeding mods? Bleeding... What's the right word? We're going to do a bleeding build. Or at least I'm going to try to. Because the last time I played Bloodborne, I did a heavy build. I had the the, the two-handed greatsword that you could turn into a rapier. You have gained my favour. You handled that perfectly. 
DLC of this game is one of the best I've played. Your lack of parrying disturbs me. I only parry in Dark Souls, really, when I've got, like, a buckler or something like that. I don't really like the parrying system in this game. Because you have to, like... You shoot, don't you? You shoot just as someone attacks. <coughs> there we go. Cleric Beast. Basically, spam the fuck out of it with uh, Molotovs. For the first half of it. Okay, come on. Oh! Okay, let's get back. That was bad. That was my bad. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay, we've got to heal. Oh, no! As if! I was so confident we were going to first time that. So confident. Damn. The little details of dialogue in this game really make the experience more eerie. You feel so isolated from everyone in this massive city. Just a bu just you and a bunch of cursed citizens. Yeah, it's so cool. So cool. Ah, there you go. The doll is awake now. Hello, good hunter. I love the doll. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after GG gamers, I must go. You have all gained my favour. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jordan Raptor, you've done bitch, mate. That was terrible. Hey, shut up. It's been a year since I've played this game, alright. That's the one thing about the sort of Dark Souls and Bloodborne games. Some fans can be really, what's the word, elitist. It's just, come on, man, it's a fucking game, bro. Like, come on. Um, consume inside. Becca. Actually, we can now call... I'm pretty sure we can call Father Gascoigne now. Let's go talk to Gamer anyway. Old Hunter Bell. Have a chat with him. You right, Gamer? Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. I am the new hunter. Welcome to the Also, hunters. if you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop this a like. It will be much appreciated. Quiet. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes for episode 1 of Bloodborne. I will, I it will be very appreciated. I'm joking, don't worry. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. I'm sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. Do you have the platinum? No, I don't. It's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. I like German. This was once a word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Actually, that bit of dialogue is so creepy. Listen to it. Psych, I'm still here. Yo, it's Dr. Jordan Raptor. And flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Listen to this last bit. How horrible is that? I don't want to shag the doll, bro. Come on, man. I actually don't know what that memory alt is for. Wait, what is that? To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. Lest the night carry on forever. There you go. Uh, I got a physical edition of this game for $3 for a used copy in perfect, perfect condition. A fucking steal. Jesus, man. I consider myself a Souls veteran, yet every time I come back and play a bit too cocky, the game puts me back in my place. To be fair, it just did then. Like, fuck, man. I got put right back in my place. Like, I was expecting to fucking do that straight. Oh, we got no blood echoes. How many... That's not really worth using the cold dudes, is it? Not yet, anyway. Let's go back to Cleric Beast. Recover our, uh, our blood echoes. <coughs> we have a look at what's in this shop as well, actually. Ah, we can sell stuff, actually. What do, what do we need to sell? Hmm. Not really anything worth selling, is there, let's be honest. I'm not going to sell my bloodstone shards, that'd be silly. Right, back to Yarnum. Let's go to Central Yarnum. 
there was some crazy video I saw about the guy fucking the doll. What do you mean, bro? <coughs> you can't fuck the doll, can you? Not that I really want to fuck the doll, if I'm being quite honest. Yo, where are all my moderators, bro? Come on. This chat was filled with moderators at the beginning. You've all left. I'm upset. Alright, back we go. I'm guessing we can't open this. I don't know why I think that'd suddenly be open. Right. Let us go. We'll run past all the enemies this time. We don't gotta kill them. Oh wait, is this like an optional bit of dialogue that I didn't know about? Yeah, some Molotovs. Alright, let's have a little listen. Oh. Oh, leave me alone, man. Hey, man, I'm still here just scoring on Twitter. Hey, look, it's all good. No, I don't hold it against you. <coughs> we definitely gotta get our stamina upgraded as soon as possible because this shit is nearly unbearable, man. Oh. I don't like the prospect of getting shot. Okay, that was fucked up. Right, back to Cleric Beast we go. What's this? Oh, we can summon Father Gascoigne. I completely forgot. Yeah, we can use the old Hunter's Bell. Summon Father Gascoigne. And then we get some help on the Cleric Beast, which, to be honest, will mean we can kill it even quicker. Old Hunter Bell resonates with another. Where is he? There he is! Hello, Father Gascoigne. Let's get a move on, bro. <laughs> yeah, we, we love summoning gamers in this. Oh! I did not mean to do that. I pressed X, I mean not X, I pressed fucking square to attack then. Get on the ground. It's kind of sad that we have to kill Father Gascoigne to be honest. Oh! Jesus, man. I can't even see what's going on with all them particle effects coming off his axe. He jumps! He's got himself stuck in the tree! He's actually got himself stuck in the tree. Fuck me, Gascoigne. Oh no, how has he done that? Oh, please tell me he's gonna like teleport to us or something. Are we gonna have to like resummon him? Oh! I did not realise you were coming this way, man. Jesus. Alright, we're gonna have to resummon him. If that's happened. As if that has fucking happened. What a prick. Daddy Gascoigne with them pro strat stat stat strats, I mean sorry, fucking hell. Right, yeah, we're gonna have to resummon him, aren't we? How do we do that? Do we use the old hunter bell? No, we don't. We use the blank, don't we? Silencing blank. Disrupt resonance with Father Gascoigne. And now we can, I assume we can resummon him. Maybe. So if we ring the beckoning, but. Oh, we can't, we don't have enough. Oh wait, we can use Madman's, Madman's knowledge to get some insight. And then we can resummon him? Surely. Gascoin? Have we done that right? I think I've done that wrong. Right, okay. We're just gonna have to deal with our Gascoin. Can't believe he fucking did that. This is why we're gonna kill him now, actually, because he just fucked us. Made me waste. Some fucking insight. Oh look, Mario's back in the chat, boys. Mario5380. You love to see it. Right. Fucking hate that you have to pass these dudes every time you want to fight Cleric Beast, but fuck it. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Leave me alone, boys. Leave me alone. I want no part of this. 
want to go through the fog, fight the cleric beast, and get my fucking blood echoes back for one. Oh, come on. Okay, blood echoes, we have them back. Okay, you can hit its head for extra damage. Right, we are not in a good spot right now. Like, any Souls boss is fucking terrifying to me, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's just spam Molotovs. Oh god! Oh god! Get our health back. Do a little hit. Do throw one of these. Okay, come on. <laughs> Next phase. Alright, can we do this? Okay, that doesn't actually stun him. What is he doing? To be honest, I don't actually know what's going on right now. Is Cleric Beast actually this fucking retarded? Or am I just dodging really fucking pro right now? Oh! Okay, this is where he starts going sicko mode. Come on, it's okay. It's okay, ye oldy cleric beast. We got this. Just don't fear me. Come on, last little bit. Last little bit, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. There's our first beast of many defeated. There you have it. Now we can go back to Hunter's Dream, and we can actually level up a little bit. <coughs> Sticking to that ass like a Souls Pro. You know how it be, man. You know how it be, right? Let's go back to Hunter's Dream. Let's do some upgrading. And let's go fight Gascoin. That's all we care about, these bosses. We're going to get that boss rush. Uh, his motherfucking screams, lol. Just let me listen to the choir. <laughs> Could not discover the chime of a resonant bell. No insight was consumed. The, that sounds like a you problem. Oh, the doll. Are you alright? You alright, ma'am? Ah, welcome home, good hunter. She's very tall, isn't she? I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? You can actually kill her, which is so fucked up. I don't want to do that. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Alright. So what is required for these? Is it skill? Like, what are we doing? We do some... I want to keep... I want to get vitality up there. Let's go for... A, what does skill do? It upgrades physical defense. Strength increases right hand weapon attack and physical defense by a substantial amount. Did you hear about the Sekiro boss rush update coming later this month? No, I didn't, but that sounds really cool actually. I'm glad that Sekiro is getting some updates. Um. One of my Discord buddies is a huge Bloodborne fan. Hey, you should be a huge Bloodborne fan as well. This game is amazing. Alright, lads, I unfortunately have other errands to run, but did want to wish y'all an epic stream full of Souls gaming. Bye-bye. See you later, Ozzy. Thanks for showing up, man. I appreciate it. I hope, you, I hope your errands go well. What does skill do? What does... What does let, me, let me Google the dual blades real quick. Dual blades of Bloodborne. So it's the Blades of Mercy. What do they require to wield? Uh, Jesus, the stats, they're so fucked. Right, let's just, we'll come, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, okay? Skill is good for skill-based weapons, other than that, I don't really know. 
So should we do Blood Tinge? Whatever the Blades of Mercy use, I want to upgrade that. Because I really want to be able to use the Blades of Mercy. Maybe we should just like do Strength, Skill, Endurance and Vitality like that. And just to sort of even it out. It's been a while since I played this game, so I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Let's use that. Blades of Mercy and Rakuyo are epic. I played Bloodborne once and it was too hard for me. Hey, look. It ta it's, it's a matter of just... Um, what's it called? Yeah, it's just a matter of... Uh, Getting used to the way the enemies move. Once you get that down, the game's actually pretty easy. Let's buy a bunch of Molotovs as well. Why the fuck not? Let's buy like three. Did I buy three just then? I don't actually know. Probably not. Yeah, we did buy three. Okay, reckon after the stream, I'm immediately going to sleep. Got like three hours sleep last night, and the only reason why I stayed up is to watch this stream. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Skill is for Blades of Mercy. Thank you very much, Hunter of Hunters. I appreciate it. I appreciate your help. I will be sure to um, I'll be sure to upgrade skills so I can use the Blades of Mercy because they're really cool. Okay, on we go, back to Yarnum, to the Great Bridge, to find G Father Gascoigne. I'm pretty sure we have to go through those sewers, so we're going to go back the way we came, through the sewers, and we're going to find Gascoigne. Oh, doesn't James also want to stream the Mal? Oh, what tonight? Oh, he's going to steal all my viewers. This bastard. Oh, because it's fucking Nightlife City Wire, isn't it? Whatever the fuck it's called. Night City Wire, I think. I don't know. I don't actually know. Right, it, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Just stick to it, my guy. Bloodborne was the first tough game I played, and I gave up on it in 2016, and then came back in 2018 and loved it. Yeah, it is one of those games where you just have to be consistent with it, and as you play the game more, you sort of get a little bit more used to it. Um... Which version of the PS5 are you going to get, George? The digital only or PS5? Um, digital only PS5 with the one with the disk drive. Mm, I think I might just go for the digital one if I'm being honest. Like, I don't play, I don't play physical games anymore. Like, I don't buy physical games. It's been many, many years since I have. Uh, but what do you guys think? What do you think I should go for? Because I don't actually know if that's the best option or not. Yo, oh my god. Who's that dude think he even is, bro? Jeez, this place is pretty dark in here. I almost didn't see you then, bro. Fucking hell. And you. Jesus. Right, what does this give us? Cold, cold dew. I'll take it. I don't actually know where this leads, but fuck it. We'll go down here anyway. All places lead to somewhere. Oh, is that a, is that a shortcut? I hope that's a shortcut. Old man. Hungent blood cocktail. When the hunt began, the healing church abandoned us, blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as they burned old Yarnum to the ground on that moonlit night. How beautiful is that passage of text, man? Everything about this game is gorgeous. <coughs> Hello, gamers. How are we? Oh, look, he's Jass. Welcome to the stream, Jass. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Look at that. It's old man's chair. Yo! What are you doing, bro? Get the fuck away from me. Okay, so down that way is two big dudes. And up this way is... An item. Ah, bloodstone shard. And a sh is this a shortcut? It is! And a lantern. Wait, is this the shortcut? I think it is. <gasps> it is! This is the old Yarnum. This is the, uh, no, central Yarnum, uh, lamp. And we get to go down here. And I'm guessing the right way is, is where those big dudes are now. I'm guessing. So we're gonna, we'll try and bait one into coming over to me so we can fight him on his own. And then we'll kill the other one. Okay, it looks like they're. There you go. Yeah, come over here, bro. I promise you it'll be safe. I promise you. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not safe. But it's just not safe for me. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he's going out for fucking blood. He's going sicko mode, bro. Hey, let me just pop another blood bar real quick. Take them. Hey there, man. There's an upgrade that allows you to hold more blood vials, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. I never actually use the long version of this. I don't know why. I think the shorter version is just cooler. I like the animations better. Alright. Crack that blood vial. Give me some blood vials, bro. I dare you. Oh, look at that. <coughs> I'd say digital games lose their value quicker. When you finish the digital game, that's it. Physical, you can sell or switch with anything else. Thing is, I don't actually like selling games, so that's not really something I do. It's not really something I take part in. I like to keep games to come back to them at a later date. Um, and if they're digital, I know they're always going to be there. I don't have to look for the physical copy. Um, I see what you mean, though. And you can get physical games with very little cash. Honestly, can't wait till we're in the single digits in days for Cyberpunk. I'm so gassed. Yeah, man, honestly, I fucking cannot wait either. It's going to be a good time. So where does that lead to? Hmm. So we can either go up here. Where I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's a person close, like a quest giver. I think it's close. So what's in here? Is this locked? No, it's open. Oh, wait, is this where we... Is this dude back? Oh, no, no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, so that's good. Now we know we can cut through here. To get back this way. So now we can either go down there. Or we can go up there. I'm going to go this way first. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's the place of the dogs in all the cages. You can actually just kill them. Get some blood echoes from them. To be fair, they don't give you that many blood echoes. Uh, down there is Cathedral Ward, I'm pretty sure. Is that Cathedral Ward? Or is that where the old, I think it's where the old woman's house is. And then, once we get to Cathedral Ward, we can, we can basically tell her that Cathedral Ward's safe. And, and that starts a quest. Although, to be honest, <clears throat> it's not a quest I'm probably going to do. Oh, three cold, dude. Um, Cyberpunk looks so good, but I'm too tired of the hype. I don't even watch Night City Wire. I'm just, I'm just like, wake me up and release day. Yeah, I don't watch it either, to be honest. I don't see the hype around having loads of the game spoiled for you. There's just no point in it. Never that dog was just barking at her door. You're a hunter, aren't you? This old woman's such a bitch. Not right now. Hey, look, I am getting off my ass. I just did a fucking optional boss, you stupid old woman. Nope. Look, I don't know anywhere. Shut up. Stop speaking to me. That Honestly, that old woman, she's such, an, she's such a bitch. I fucking hate her. Alright, so... Let's just check what's down here. Okay, that looks like we're getting into something... That. You just can't beat me, bro. I'm unstoppable. Okay, so we're back in the sewers if we go down here. So let's go back to that that area where we could go up the stairs. Go on, George, smack her up. I bloody will, mate. I bloody fucking will. Once we find, find Cathedral Ward, if we find ourselves coming back here, then... Oh, wait, I hear that laughter. Is that another optional bit of dialogue? So I really like the optional dialogue in this game. I think it's cool. Okay, so back up this way. And then up there. We'll go up this way. See what's up here. 
Ah. Cold deep blood, would you look at that? The game rewards you for fucking exploring. I only watch the E3 stuff and Night City Wire for character customization. I'd rather explore the rest on my own. Yeah, same to be honest. I'd much rather explore the rest on my own. Much, much rather. Just the prospect of jumping into this world and doing it all first, like, on, on my own is a lot cooler than having it all spoiled for me on a stream series. I don't, I don't understand. This dude is just staring into the fucking wall. So we're just going to sneak up on him. And give him one of these. There you go. Oh! <laughs> he just got slumped. Oh wait, who's shooting me? Is that guy over there? You with the torch? Yo! No, it's him! Oh no, I'm gonna fall! Okay, no I'm not. Fucking hell, that was silly. Alright. What's it? Oh, we're getting so much cold dew! So much. That's what we like. Oh wait, there's a dude over here as well. Hey bro. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, if he unleashed that final attack on us, we would've been dead, bro. We would've been just fully dead. Okay. Let's carry on going. I'm so glad to be playing this game. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh my god, get away. But this game is just so, so fun. Just so fun. Okay, there's little rats. Little rats there. Little rats back there. Now let's just like, go down here. See what the rats are saying. See what the rats have to say. Only reason why I watch Night City War is because James streams it. Yeah, I imagine that's probably why a lot of people in the community watch it. Like, I, I'm just not very interested in it. Like, I think the game looks amazing, but I just don't want to ruin it for myself. I think that would be a very sad turn of events. Well, not ruin it for myself, but I mean, like, spoil the game. It's fucking rats! Man's knowledge. Okay, well let's get a little. Let's just, just go. Then I was through here, but I'm ready to find out. Oh, it's here. It's where we were before when we were trying to kill cleric beast. Or is it? Oh no, it's this way, isn't it? Down, around this way. At least I think it is. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't at all, and I'm just thinking it is. No, it isn't. It's a completely different area. Obviously, it's... Oh, no. Wait, what? Okay, those guys are down there. So, it was either go this way. God, I fucking hate getting lost. Oh, Right. So, it's either... Who am I getting shot by? I can't actually look up. Oh, it's that guy. He's mad. He's trying to shoot me. Stay mad, bro. Oh my god, what the fuck? Jesus. Did you see that guy? Just go flying. That was a madness of I've ever seen one. Honestly, I don't shoot people very often. I really don't use the guns very often in this game. It's all about them dual swords, man. That's what I want. That's the current goal. Oh, not this guy. I'm just using this for range because he's got a spear. I'm going to need some range. No, 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 no. I just can't be doing with dying, man. Can't be doing with it. Right. 
Nice, we just got our blood vials back. Okay. That dude dropped some shit as well. God of War 2018 is my second favourite game, Bloodborne number one. For me, I look so silly watching a Bloodborne stream with a Bloodborne profile picture in <laughs> Good to see that passion. You know, I like seeing people that are passionate about games, especially good ones like Bloodborne. You know. I, we love Bloodborne on this channel. Right, how do I actually get to Father Gascoigne? Because I do not know the slightest how I get. Ah, oh, yes, oil. Nice. That'll come in fucking handy when we have to kill like some beasts. Or like a difficult beast that's weak to fire. Right, do you reckon we can... I actually don't know what this item is, but I want to see. I kind of want to see. So what's down in here? So that's the room with all the weird corpses. But let's just... I feel like that leads somewhere. So let's go down here and grab this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. That's fine. So did we come from that way before? Are you going to stream God of War 2018? Of course I am, bro. Of course I am. It's part of the series. Once we get around to that sort of era. Continue going down the sewer road and you'll reach Daddy Gascoigne. Do you mean down where these dudes are over this way? Or, or back? Like I don't actually know. I'm guessing it's I'm guessing it's down this way. Let's get that drop hit. Bad dude died quick. Okay, let's stop killing enemies now. Oh god. Okay, I guess it is down this way because we haven't experienced this yet. I don't know what those pebbles are for. Oh, the pebbles are for distracting enemies, aren't they? Wait, do I see something at the end there? That's a big pig, isn't it? <laughs> that big pig, is he's got a death wish, I think. Okay, that pig. He don't look happy. <laughs> look at him. Come charge me. I dare you. I dare you to come charge me, bro. Oh, come on. How did that damage me just then? Alright, I'm going up here. Back to safety. I fucking hope it's safety because we've got such a little amount of health. Ascend the ladder and sneak in behind the pig. Oh! Uh, I'm an idiot. I sort of wanted to just bait the pig, to be honest. But it didn't work. Okay, so there's a device to operate. There's a bridge. A bridge with some crazy guys on it. And they're going to send a boulder... Do they, do they really think I can't see that? That fucking boulder just waiting there. I've played enough of these games to know, right? Right, I'm getting back. I'm gonna use... No, no, no. Yes, kill all of them. Kill all of them, don't kill me. Hey, leave me alone, man. Actually, I'm not wanted here. I am wanted here, I'm a bloody hunter. I'm a fucking hunter, mate. It's this dude that sent it down to me. Hey, bro. You're a fuckhead. Right. You're gonna get what you deserve, man. He's gonna get exactly what he deserves. Stab in the back. Not only do this game just fits together like a puzzle, that device will take you back to the lantern. Oh! 
So I should send the elevator down there. Fuck, let me do that, let me do that. Let me go back. <coughs> okay. So, let's go... Let's go up. Is it going up or is it going down? Up. And this will take me to... Back to Century Arnhem, is it? Oh, where is this? Where is this taking me? So it's taken me back to this place, where the two big dudes were. Okay, makes sense. That's the shortcut now. We've unlocked the shortcut. Nice one. Hello, Christian Winters. Welcome to the stream, man. You can unlock the locked gate at the lantern. I think I've already done it, actually. I think I've already done it. Are we talking about the central Yarnum lamp? Because, yeah, I've already done that one. Um... Have you ever tried to 100% The Witcher? Uh, sort of briefly, and then I was like, nah, actually, I can't be bothered. Okay, sweet. Where does this ladder go? Is that where the pig is? Fuck. I don't like these dudes at all. Okay, let's get the backstab on him. And you, my friend. No, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. He's going to actually kill me. We're running. we got to run away. Oh, my God. He's chasing me down. He's fucking chasing me down. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. Right, bro. I'm ready now. We're on an even playing field here, boy. Come on. What do you think you are? I don't like this dude. Can I parry him? Oh, there you go! <laughs> you bitch. You fucking bitch. Alright, let's go. What do you think of this game so far? Well, it's not a blind playthrough. I've played it before. But, yeah, I love this game. It's so good. Yeah, that ladder goes behind the pig. Okay, I'm guessing this is like a bloodstone shot. Yeah, it is! And I bought a two bold hunters mark. Fuck yeah. Or are you hoping to get the new PS5 or new Xbox? I'll be getting... Okay, that's Father Gascoigne, boss. Let's go down to the pig. Yeah, I am... Um, I'm getting a PS5. I'm not going to get an Xbox because I've already got a pretty decent computer. But uh, it is how it is. So let's go... Let's go sh smack the pig. <laughs> There's a pig. Hey, <laughs> look at him. He looks so funny. This guy, look at him. There you go. Oh, the visceral attacks are so cool. Oh, cold blood dude. Oh, wait, what? The pig's still alive? Come on, bro. Saw hunter badge. Blood vials. You love to see it. You really do. Okay, where does this lead? <gasps> all of that. I did all of that just to fucking die from falling down. Oh my god. I'm an idiot, man. I'm actually an idiot. I should know by this point that. Oh no. Let's go back to. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. Only in Bloodborne can you fist a pig up the ass. <laughs> That's very true. Also, if you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the stream. It would be much appreciated. It really would be. Let's go to uh, Central Yarnum. Now, aren't you glad you used the elevator? Oh, I really am. I really am. <laughs> that shit gets me every time I play this game. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sure it got me last time as well, to be honest, actually. I'm sure it got me before. 
Man. What a silly what a silly gamer I am. Gascoigne's gonna fuck me, I can tell already. Like I can tell, I can feel it. I can feel it in my brain, in my bones. Okay, I think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. Quite like how it all links up, like as you said before, it is like a big puzzle. You know, it all fits together in the end if you explore all the areas. But you just, at first it seems like a maze, but in fact it isn't, because it, it all does link perfectly together. Oh no. Oh, they're not going to come to me, okay. <laughs> I got scared they were just going to try and fuck me in this small room, to be honest. Right. Back down we go. I'm going to go collect my blood echoes, and then we're going to go fight Gascon. <coughs> and then I'll be on to the next area, I think, anyway. Right, so, where's Pig? Alright, send that over to me. There you go, they're sending it down. Absolute massacre. Souls games are just 3D Metro Metroidvanias, honestly, especially Dark Souls 1. To be honest, I've never played Vet Metroid in my entire life, so that makes me want to play Metroid. <laughs> Alright, let's go fist the pig again, if he's still alive. If it's anything like Dark Souls 1's pig, it won't still be alive, it'll be dead. Permanently, for some reason. Oh my god. Get that attack. There you go. How's the fat gaming going? Pretty good to be honest. Honestly, like I was expecting it to be like... I was expecting to come back to this game and basically get fucked over and over again. But to be honest, we've only died like twice. And one of them was from a boss and the other one was from... Uh, the other one was from a big pig. I mean, not a big pig from falling down a hole. So if you don't engage with those dudes, they don't actually kill you. If you break through the line of guys in time, you can get close enough to the troll before he rolls the flaming ball that puts him that puts him down in one hit. Oh. Is the pig still there? Hello everyone, for some reason Longer Fox does not have a hundred K. Let's change this. Longer Fox and hundred K. 100k. Wait, can we not get our blood echoes back? Is it because I fell? Let's punch that pig in the booty. Sweet, sweet pig booty. Oh, has he got my souls? Ah, I mean, not souls, blood echoes, sorry. I'm too used to playing Dark Souls. So, if I just run through those guys, it's a possibility that I could just, like, kill that dude in one hit. To be honest, I like watching the ball fucking murder them. The flaming ball that comes rolling down looks pretty cool, to be honest. Metroidvania is basically focused on exploration in an interconnected world and getting more powerful. To be honest, they always nail exploration and fuck up combat, especially for Hollow Knight. It nails everything. Ah, uh, Hollow Knight. That's one game. Oh, so Metro... Oh! I'm an idiot. You said Metroidvania, so I was like, oh, Metroid? Like the series? But no, you mean that's a genre of game. I see, I see, I see, I see. Here we go, boys. What are you doing to it? <laughs> yeah, a Hollow Knight actually looks really cool. Oh no, Gascoigne. Look, he's turning into a beast. He's going mad. Just smashing a fucking corpse up to bits. Yeah, this, this is a really cool boss. You're a beast, bro. 
You're one of the beasts, man. Okay, it's time to fight Gascoigne, even though this fucking boss is absolutely... He's so quick. Like, he's so fucking quick. Like... Mm. <clears throat> be honest oh my god all right come attack me oh I didn't get the fucking hit in I'm silly all right hit me again wait how did that not I was expecting that to be a visceral oh my god he's gonna fucking kill me <coughs> so we're gonna have to just quickly run around here heal up a little bit all right there you go that's what I wanted Look at that damage. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. It's enough to make a man sick. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Gascoigne's a badass, to be fair. All right, hit me again. Okay, no, I want that parry. Hey, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, come on. I thought that was it then. No. Run away again. Bloodborne is such an awesome Halloween game, actually. To be fair, it is. It is it's like that classic story of like just hunting like vampire hunters and beasts and stuff like that. It's really cool. Okay, this is where he goes fucking sicko mode. All right. Gas coin. Just... Be, be kind to me, okay? Okay, let's make sure that we keep on top of our health. Because when he does attacks like that, he can just stun lock you. And just get get you fucked. Ah, gas coin. No, I'm stuck in a corner. Okay, I'm just going to run away. Heal up. Playing this very safe. No, 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 no. I'm gonna run away again. Oh my god! Is it she right behind me? Oh my god! Right. No, he's fucking one hit. There you go. There you go, boys. See you later, Father Gascoin. You motherfucker. There you have it. Another boss done. Another beast defeated. <sighs> to be fair, the Father Gascoigne boss is so cool. So cool. Alright, okay, let's go back to the Hunter's Dream. Let's upgrade ourselves a little bit. Let's do some bits. Uh, if you open all the gates at the beginning, you can call Gascoigne in to help with the Cleric Beast. Oh yeah, no, I've already killed Cleric, cleric Beast, bro. <laughs> Will you make a review on Miles Morales and Demon Souls when they come out? I, I would like to do a review on Miles Morales, yeah. I would like to. I think that would be quite cool. Uh, any items? Yes, Hand Lantern. I want that. To be honest, that is actually better than the fucking... Uh, than, the, than the gun, really. So we'll have it as a... Oh, we can't actually. Oh, you can only have it as a... Quick item. No fucking way is the guy who voices Father Gascoigne in the dumping ground and the story of Tracy Beaker. I have no idea what that is. I, mean, I know what the story of Tracy Beaker is, but Souls games have lackluster first fights, but Bloodborne's first fights fuck me up. They're so good though, like mechanically, the Father Gascoigne boss battle is fucking amazing. So good. So that we can have our little put our little lantern on now, so you can have that on. Pretty much at all times, really. There's no point in turning it off unless you want to start throwing stuff about. Um, okay, so let's let's take those. We've got loads of loads of these. Oh, let's just use all of them. See what upgrades we can get now. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it? So I like to 
I do like to spread my blood echoes out. So like do endurance, vitality, get that up to 15. Okay, we can't do any more. We gotta do skill though. Yeah, we do have to look into skill. Farewell, good hunter. Thank you very much, doll woman. Oh wait, we can actually upgrade our saw cleaver, can't we? I always try and skip the cleric beast lol, but it is cool having him on your side. It would be cool if you could reunite him with his child. Father Gascoigne. What a legend. Repair that. Fortify. Okay. Off we go. Do we have, can we buy any, I'm pretty sure you can buy his outfit actually after you kill him. Mm, no, no, you can't. That's very strange. I thought you could. Mm. Very strange. Very. St oh, what have I done? What did I do there? I accidentally did something there. I pressed up on the D-pad, and it took away my health and gave me. Silver bullets, which to be honest, I really don't want. Back to the Tomb of Odeon. Pretty sure now we go to Cathedral Ward, and then we can meet the weird, creepy, weird looking guy who's really weird and creepy. 20 endurance is enough for even new game plus 7 and up, so get that to 20 and focus on skill and vitality, or just do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I'll, I'll take your uh, I'll take your advice for it to be honest, because you played you play Bloodborne a lot. You know, this is only my second playthrough, so yeah. I'll get endurance up to 20, and then uh, and then we'll just keep dumping points into skill and vitality, and then I'm pretty sure that's the build that we're going to go for for this playthrough. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll work on getting some some cool weapons. I, w I do want the blades of mercy though. As soon as we get those, I'm not using anything else for the entire game, so that'll be good. There are some really cool weapons though, like some really really cool weapons. There you go. You pressed up on the D-pad, so you sacrificed HP for five bullets. Very useful for arcane builds. Yeah, I can imagine to be fair, actually. Yes, I guess I, I never use arcane or, or magic in Dark Souls or anything like that. Miracles and stuff. Never really clicked with me, but I've, I've never really been one to use magic in video games, really. I always go for the hack and slash sort of crazy guy. Um, no platinum trophy lol, but I did level this one character over 200, and it was done because it was like 50 arcane and the rest into health. Oh, there's a note there. And a chest. Yes. Okay. The Brigginworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost masters from us. Terrible shame. Makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Gives me conniptions. Is the Brigginworth spider, is that... Is that, uh... What's his name? Patches. Because I know Patches in, is in this game. Blood gem workshop tool. don't know what that is. Yes, sir. Gives you an almost unlimited amount of bullets if you do a blood tinge or arcane build. Arcane is fucking awesome. I got the platinum and DLC trophies and I'm still playing. I have a build for everything, but I accidentally deleted my blood tinge save. I'm forced to use magic because of my completion because my completionist soul forces me in it too, and it hurts. To be fair, I would love to. I would really, really love to platinum this game. It would be a good time. Wait, what? I didn't initiate... Wait, wait, how, how do I find Eileen, the crow? How do I find her? Because I need to find her. Whereabouts is she? I didn't know she was in uh, normal Yarnum. Fuck, I didn't realise she was at the beginning of the game. Yeah, let's, let's go... Let's go find Eileen. Uh, as soon as we light this lamp here, we'll find Eileen. And then we'll get the Blades of Mercy. At least for a Cathedral Ward, to be honest. I quite like Cathedral Ward. Oh, look, here's the creepy dude. Look at him. You're horrible. I mean, I don't know if it's a dude or if it's a woman, to be honest. There's not really any way of telling, and it's never specified in game. Yeah, how do I go? She's at the top floor in the sewers in Central Yarnum. Through some barrels near the old lady's house. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go back to Hunter's Dream, and then we'll go back to Central Yarnum. Go to the old woman's house. Eileen's story is fun to play. 
though by the time you finish it you'll be able to afford the 40k echoes i mean i've never actually done eileen's story should i should i just kill her to get her blades or should i do her quest because i know you get her quest and her outfit from uh from i mean you get the blades and the and her outfit from finishing the quest but you can just get the blades instantly by killing her I don't know which the best option is, because I mean, remember we've got we've got another thirteen games to play in this series, so I kind of don't want to spend loads of time doing side quests. Break the barrels on the second floor of the sewers where you cut down the saw spear. Okay. Good luck killing her. Kill her, but it'll be hard. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen people kill her before. Can I join? It's not on. I'm playing offline. I apologize, man. Playborn. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, though, bro. I appreciate it. Okay, so. Where were the sewers again? They were. Were they down this way? I don't know why I killed that guy, to be honest. Okay, so the sewers are through here. Up here. And round, aren't they? Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not. This leads to Cleric Beast. Oh, I know. Cleric Beast leads to sewers, though, doesn't it? If we go back this way. No, no, no. Not that way. Back this way. Past the werewolves. Oh, no. Get away from me. No, I'm not going to die here, man. I'm not going to fucking die there. That's bullshit. Stay away from me. Oh no. Look, just leave me alone. I want no part in this. I want no part in this. Oh, there you go. Oh no. Oh no, they're both here. Okay, one's gone down, so that's fine. Look, get off of me, man. Okay, we're gonna actually die. As if we fucking died. Oh yeah, you do have to kill her with gravity. There's a way of doing it. How to kill Eileen the Crow. There is, I remember there's a way of pushing her off the edge, isn't there? Okay, let's go back to where we were. I've gone the wrong way. It's a good start. Yeah, there's a way of killing her, which is like a massive cheese, but I don't fucking care. I want the Blades of Mercy, and I want them now. Okay, so we've got to go back up. Up here. Wrong way. Round. Through here. Get my blood echoes back. Go down. Okay, they haven't followed me, have they? Okay, no, they haven't. Right, how do I do it? Other sewer. Oh. Uh, okay. Let me search it up, how to kill Eileen, because I really want the Blaze of Mercy. How to kill Eileen the Crow. So it's the other sewers. How do I get there? God, uh, I'm still searching it up. One minute, guys. I don't actually know how to get there to where that dude is right now. 
Um, go to the place where the dog's in cages. Oh, of course. Of course the dog's in the cages. Of course. Okay. Let me jump down there. You were literally just saying about the dogs in the cages, and I completely forgot already. So let's just go back up here. Unless we can go through the sewers to get there. Search up Vati's video. Yeah, I've watched it. That's how I remember the, um, the what's it called? The, the method of pushing her off the edge or having her, like, baiting her off the edge. Okay, well, the... F why? Oh, there you go. Okay, so... How the fuck... How the fuck do I get back to the old woman's place? I actually don't remember. They'll still cost you 40k echoes. One time I stayed in this area to build up enough echoes to buy them. It was a marathon. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll be able to grind off off um, off off camera. Cause I'm not gonna fucking grind on camera. That's just boring. I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, we did the Father Gascoigne boss battle. We're now trying to figure out how to. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to find this character called Eileen the Crow, so we can basically bait her off the edge and get her weapons early. Uh, but I actually don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna have to wander about a little bit. So, let's retrace our steps. We went... Do we have to go back to Central Yarnum to get there? Like, the... I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, let's, let's go... Let's go to the, the Great Bridge lamp. Go to the Great Bridge lamp. You missed George killing Father Gascoigne in first fucking try. <laughs> To be fair, Father Gascoigne, it's a deceptively easy boss. Because he's he has all these crazy animations and stuff, but honestly, it's all about... I sound so cliche, but it's all about timing, isn't it? Let's be honest. We got this, boys. We got this. We're going to find Eileen the Crow. We're going to kill her. We go to Central Yarnum first. It's past the dark house with the guy in the wheelchair. Okay, I remember. I remember. And we can get to the dark house by going to Central Yarnum and then going through the secret little uh, well, the shortcut gate. And then we can find Eileen the Crow. The fucking killer. Get her shit. And fucking do bits. Rifle spear. Blimey. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, we go down here. There's the dark house. So it's through the dark house. And is it down this way? And then down here? Yes, it is. Place with the dogs. Let's go to old woman's house. Dog didn't drop anything. Old woman's house. And there's barrels, you say. That we need to destroy. So past the old woman's house. Is it that? Ah. I see. So whereabouts is Eileen? Surely we have, we have to bait her over here. By the way, not disappeared. Just lurking for a bit. That's fine. So, so we have to go here. We have to drop down here regardless. Yo, is that lantern on? No, it isn't. Let's put our lantern on. So... There's a lot of shit to loot. Cold blood do. That is not going to end well if we do that, is it? That's the that's the soul spear, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't even really want that weapon. I just felt like doing that. So if we come across it at some point, we can grab it. Even though I don't want the soul spear. 
Okay, so this is where she is. There she is, Eileen the Crow. Okay. Okay. So, let's see how we can bait her. Let's watch the video. So, you got to smack her. Give her a little smack. Do a visceral attack on her. And then bait her back. You have to keep walking into her. Baiting her so she comes along. And then standing there. Wow. Okay. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go, boys. Okay, so this woman right here, she doesn't know what's going on, but she is going to get slumped. Although she's not really facing the way I want her to. I guess it doesn't really matter. Give her a little crunch about. I'm not a sorry drunk. Oh! So we need to stand like right here. <laughs> Wait, how did she not die? What? <coughs> Is she going to come back up to me? What just happened? Am I just going to have to... Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just going to go down there and finish her off. Oh, oh! This is gonna end badly. This is gonna end very badly. This is gonna end so badly. Oh no! As if that just happened. As if that just happened. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! I hope she's still there. I can really hope she's still there. You all thought I was gone. Oh my god, boys! It's Doctor Jordan Raptor. It's Doctor Jordan Raptor. She won't have much HP. To be fair, I'll, I should have got a few extra smacks on her. Right. Back down we go again. Into the dark house. Through here. Wow, what a fucking chain. <laughs> we fell down. Got smacked by a dude who then knocked us off the edge. We fell down again. And then we fucking got fucked. Alright, I don't know what I was doing just then. This bitch gonna take a L. Yo, 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 yo. So is she is she still gonna be there? I hope she is. Or is she gonna be where where she normally spawns? All I know is I'm getting those blades of mercy, even if it's the last thing I do. Okay, so is she still there? She's not down there. Would she be like I don't know? Back where I found her. There she is. Okay, we can do it again then. But how much damage can we do to her? Oh my god, okay. Not much at all. Come get me. Okay, so she shouldn't have much HP now. Is that what you're telling me? Because she looks like she's ready to fucking go. Okay, you know what? Let's take care of this dude first, just to be safe. Okay, where is she? Eileen! Oh, Eileen! Oh god. Oh god. No, no, no. There's fucking rats and shit. There's fucking rats. Okay, Eileen. You just stay right there. Oh, she's nearly dead. There you go. She fucking dead, boy. And then we pick up the Crow Hunter badge. We did it. Alright. That feels good. 
I mean, we did just kill like an innocent woman, but we have to fight her anyway. So we're just we're just sort of looking into the future, really, aren't we? Up the ladder we go, bro. Come on. Okay, so you're telling me it costs 40 souls to get the blades of mercy. I mean, 40 blood echoes to get the blades of mercy. Cause that is. Okay, let's find the, um, let's just go back to the nearest, let's say bonfire then, lamp. Get off the edge, bro, you fucking invalid. Just thought I'd fucking smash him in the head, why not? Okay, let's go to Father Gascoigne then. Wrong way. No, right way. Yeah, that's where the corpses are. Carry on going down this way. Have them dudes jump on us for some crazy reason. <coughs> and then, up oh, this way. You can just not level and get the blades, then get back to level. If you guys want, I shall reveal my identity on the Discord server. <laughs> you can if you want, man. Okay, let's try this out. Where you can just break through their line. And just go up. Oh. Oh. Go. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm, you can just not level. What does that mean? To be fair, I grind in the forest for now. For now, keep leveling. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna grind on on stream, by the way, guys, because that's just boring for people to watch. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna carry on playing, and next stream we will have the Blades of Mercy, basically. So. That's just the way it's gonna be. Unless we can just get fuck tons of blood echoes just randomly. Right, let's go back to Hunter's Dream. We'll check uh, what we can buy. Also, guys, if you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop a like. It would be much appreciated, man. Let's see if we can boost that shit to 100 likes before the end. We've still got a long way to go before the end, though, so it's not even like it really matters that much. But let's just see how many likes we can get, man. What am I doing? <clears throat> let's talk to these lads. Quiet some items. There you go, there's the Blades of Mercy. Look at that. So cool. Okay, repeating pistol. It's not something we need, is it? Oh, uh, so you can also buy her outfit as well when you kill her. I guess because you get the Crow Hunter badge, so you can buy all of her stuff. Let's buy a few more of these. I love me some Molotovs. Wait, let's also on the quick items menu, let's remove that, put the hand lantern as the first one, nope, I want the hand lantern first one, molotov, and then oil urn, okay. Welcome home, good hunter. Wait, how the fuck is George not even this past 50k? Desire. That's how it is, bro. That's what happens when you, um, Farewell, good that's what happens when you don't upload, <laughs> basically. <coughs> Welcome. Channel them blood echoes. Okay, so we need to get endurance up. Let's just keep getting endurance up. We'll get endurance to 20. And then after that, we'll start leveling vitality and skill and just dumping all our points into those into those two. And then we should be good, really. Alright. Cathedral Ward. Let's talk to the weird man. Talk to the weird, scary little man. Omar Ash. According to the workshop, this is a special bone marrow ash collected from Hemwick Charnel Lane. Invaluable to hunters. If we get this stream to 200 likes, I will do a finger reveal. God, I thought you were going to say something else then. Hello, little man. Oh, to be fair, I like this dude's accent or her accent. Oh, 
You must be a hunter. Very androgynous little very gamer. Sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good. Good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarn and buns will tell you. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. I love Erden Chapel. Tell Such a classic little place. <coughs> All right, little guy. Okay, we don't want to go back down that way, do we? That'd be silly. Look how good this place looks, though. Like, man, the design of these games is good. It's fucking really good. On we go. Closed. We will be able to open it later. Though. I'm pretty sure it's some form of a shortcut. Okay, I'm not feeling too safe right now. Put the old lantern on. Do we want to go this way or do we want to go this way? To be honest, I never know which way. Oh, it's these guys. These guys are a classic. Absolutely slumped him. Oh, they give you a lot of blood echoes as well. Well, not a lot based on how much you get later in the game, but a lot based on how much I'm getting in a minute. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Dark Souls 1 Firelink Shrine, best hub, and that's a fact. To be honest, my favourite hub is Dark Souls 3 Firelink Shrine. I think it does a better job of making the place feel all homely. The Dark Souls 1 Firelink Shrine is very cold and empty. this thing. Top hat? <laughs> Yo. Wait, what is that? What was that? That was a very strange little noise. Oh, is that an amygdala? I just can't see it. I think it is, isn't it? So creepy that you know they're always there watching. Like, there, there should be one on a bridge coming up, it should, it should be, I don't know if it's close actually, to be honest. God, I don't know where I'm going. Did that fucking dog just burn itself? Oh, the enemies are becoming three hits now. That's when you know it's getting serious. I hate Dark Souls 3 Firelink Shrine because it's disconnected from the world. Dark Souls 1 connects to everything and the OST slats. I mean, that's a fair point. <coughs> that is a fair point. Have we gone back into the chapel again? Oh my god. Scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> that dude came out of nowhere. What's his problem? Okay, onwards. Hey, make sure to upgrade your weapon if you have bloodstone shards. I have a few, yeah. Uh, just have been saving them. I don't want to dump them all into my saw cleaver right now if I'm intending on getting the Blades of Mercy. But then again, I'm, I think we will need it. As if we just traded blows. In. Can you do Blood Starved Beast? How do I get to Blood Starved Beast? I remember I'm pretty sure I did Blood Star Beast on my last playthrough when I first played this game and it wasn't too difficult. 
Ah, is this going to open something? Okay, we'll go and explore that in a second. I just want to see what the rest of this chapel has to say. George is the gamer of gamers, sub if you want my favour. Yeah, if you want the favour of Dr. Dr. Jordan Raptor, Dr. Jordan Raptor, then subscribe to the channel, boys. Oh, it's this guy. I like this dude. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I He looks so funny, though. Look at his face. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might be. Old Yarnum is one of my favourite areas, and it's fucking optional. Why not cooperate? Old Yarnum. You know the fact that there's entire optional areas. Should I refuse to cooperate? Oh, I'll cooperate good. with him. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Go on then, man. Fire paper. Oh, you love fire paper. Yeah, boy. May the good blood guide your way. Thank you very much. I'll see you again, I'm sure. All right, let's put that fire paper on our uh, on our hot bar. <coughs> okay. So now we. Oh, accidentally just sacrificed my fucking. There you go. We've got our fire paper now, boys. It's a fucking mad time. Alright, so that dude we've spoke to. Let's go and have a look at what's underneath that, that crypt. Oh, the blood Star Beast is down there. Do you reckon we could do it now or... Or not? How hard is blood Star Beast? Because I honestly don't remember. Fuck it. Let's just go down there. There's only one way to find out, bro. Ooh, a blood gemstone. Look at that. Werewolf just got fucked. And a free bloodstone shard as well? Fuck yeah. I gotta go lads, it was a very fun stream, we'll try and come back, if not then I'll be for part 2, see you later lads. Thank you very much for your help Hunter of Hunters, I really appreciate it man, and it'd be nice to see you in the next stream as well. If you dislike the stream then you will never gain my favour, do not risk it. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, let's do Bloodstarved Beast, I'm pretty sure it's optional isn't it? Ah! You love to see it! A fucking lamp! Oh, I love the lamps. I do love the lamps. Okay. I'm guessing this is the door there. This town is abandoned. Hunter is not wanted here. Don't care, bro. It's another one of those slap that ass type bosses. Ah, we'll be fine then. We'll be fine. I found most of the time, honestly, the humanoid bosses are. Didn't you see the warning? I don't give a shit, bro. Turn back at once. Oh, I did old Yarnum anyway. I didn't even realize this area was optional. Fuck off, bro. This dude's chatting some big game for someone who I can't even see right now. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, most of the time humanoid bosses are like easier. I mean, more difficult than like the beastly bosses. Because beasts, they're very easy to read. Whereas people, they're a little bit more difficult. Still a while to get to Bloodstar Beast. The area is pretty large and Bloodstar Beast isn't too hard after you get this pan down. The hunter bosses are the best in the game. Yeah, the hunter bosses are so good, man. Oh my god! You scared the fuck out of me then. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Gotta get them both in my attacks. 
They're dead. Yeah, I do remember this area being pretty big, actually, but that's fine. I actually quite like this area. Hey, man. There you go. Your stamina really does recharge quick in this game. Or endurance, should I say. Uh, it's one of those horrible beasts that go mad. Oh, is that what I'm thinking of? Or am I just getting this wrong right now? I thought that was like one of those enemies that like enrages with red eyes and just fucks you up. Or am I thinking of Dark Souls 3? Is that even in this game? I do get them mixed up sometimes. <coughs> We go. I'm a very skilled hunter, bro. Oh, they can poison you. That's what it is. Don't like poison. Poison makes me a sad gamer. No, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Taking fat damages right now. Okay, now it's just poison gamers. No, no, don't give me no poison, bro. I don't want it. I do not want the smoke. Stay away from him until our poison turns off. We are good. George, we say Bloodborne is harder than Dark Souls 3. No, I wouldn't say it's harder than Dark Souls 3. I'd say this is probably the easiest Soulsborne game I've played, actually. Which is why I must stop you. It depends. It really depends on which one you played first, if I'm being honest with you. Ah, oh, the big guys. Oh, this is what they have a machine gun, don't they? That dude did not even try to kill me just then. Tempering blood gemstone. Bloodstone shard. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Oh my god. Okay, let's just sprint through. Two bloodstone showers. Holy fuck, we're getting loads of them. George has gained my favour twice. He is the best at this game, and that is a fact. Sub to him, and you will be just as good. <laughs> These streams will definitely be there for the next stream. I'm sorry, George, but I'm going to have to go. I had a super long day. I barely got any sleep last night. And half an hour ago, my chair broke and my head is red. My head is still red. Oh, wait. Did you fucking hit your head? Yeah, Mario. That's fine, man. If you need to get some sleep, feel free to get some sleep, man. I hope it's good quality sleep. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the stream. That's if I am streaming tomorrow. I may take a break. I may take like a day break just because streaming every evening after work, it does take a fucking toll on you. There you go. Bloodletting gemstone. There's nothing in here. It's a weird little fucking hovel I found myself in. Antidote. Oh, there's fucking loads of them. I didn't hit anybody. What a shame. Okay, let's get out the far end line of that. No, 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 no. One more of those and I'll get fucking poisoned, man. Not even risking getting poisoned. 
Mario has gained my favour. Honestly, I don't know who you are, Dr. Gaming. I mean, not Dr. Gaming, Dr. Jordan Raptor. But I love you. And Dr. Jordan Raptor? I can't be running out of blood files, man. I've only got 14 left. Grab that. Yeah, I don't want these beasts. Leave me, in. Leave me alone. Oh, no, that's not where I need to go. It's over this way. Okay, let's just kill them behind us so just they don't interfere with the next fight. The blood vial. Where does this lead? Who's that? I don't want to fight him. He looks fucking scary. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Okay, so we can either go that way or we can just go straight up. I'm pretty sure this leads to the dude with the gun, so I want to kill this guy. Dude, what the fuck? How do you not know the epic Dr. Jordan Raptors? Dr. Jordan Raptor? Yeah, let's go fuck this dude. Make sure to push Machine Gun Man off the ledge because he's really hard to fight. Okay. I'm guessing he doesn't realize we're up here. Okay, he's waiting for us. Get off the edge! Get off the fucking edge! <laughs> <coughs> Did he die? Yeah, he died. <laughs> he fucking died. Oh god. Amazing. Right. To be honest, I thought that was like the fucking only way of killing him, really. And just pushing him off. And then he just jumped off there. Something severely wrong with me. You can cheese the gun, dude, by shooting him. Oh, okay. Didn't even realise. God, the atmosphere is crazy in this game. Okay, for some reason he's seen me... Okay. Oh no! Of course he came from behind. Why would he not? That's what you get. Oh, okay, they're going mad. Nah, bro. Nah. We almost straight up just got fucked then. Why are these dudes any different? Oh my fucking god. Yo, my guy. My guy, step back. Holy fucking shit. Uh, yeah, I was gonna reload the game. But, I, to be honest, I don't know what the dude's loot is. So, I, d I don't really care about getting it. If you recall at the beginning, a guy named Waves chatted on the stream. That was me. <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember. At the beginning of the stream, I was setting everything up. But honestly, to me, you're Dr. Jordan Raptor. That's all that matters to me. Dr. Jordan Raptor? The sweetest, most gentle man in the universe. It's a horrible look. Oh, this is Bloodstab Beast, isn't it? Okay, they are all coming up to me right now. This is going to end badly, isn't it? Oh, God, this is going to end so badly. Oh, this is going to end so fucking badly. <coughs> okay, let's take them one at a time, one at a time. Come on. You, you're down. You, you're down. There's more of them. That's fine. 
some Molotov to get a few of them down. Oh my god, I'm nearly poisoned. Oh no! I wasn't looking at my health. I was not looking at my health. We're just gonna we're just gonna fucking sprint. We're just gonna sprint past it. It's okay. It's all good. Look. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look, fuck off, man. Leave me alone. Just trying to get by in a cold, hard world. Oh, jeez, I didn't know how many there was behind me then. Fucking hell. Oh, God, there's so fucking many beasts. Jeez, at least gun dude's gone, so we don't have to fucking worry about him. I didn't realise there was a collectible. Oh, it's just antidote. I mean, that'll come in handy later on when there's more poison stuff, but as of right now, kind of useless. Oh my god. Right. <coughs> this is like the worst part of the Souls games, is, is running back to where you died. Okay, here we are. Right, that's not the right way. We gotta go down this way. We're gonna get our blood echoes back. Okay, you have my blood echoes. There you go. No! No, get away. Oh, fuck, man. Not again. Don't do it again. Nah, 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 nah. I need antidote, but I can't fucking activate it right now. Right, I'm qu after I kill these dudes, I'm going to grab some antidote. Hey, man. Quickly, 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 quickly. There you go. And just whilst we can, just gonna slap it on the hot bar for now. We won't need it in the future, but oh, accidentally used the blood bar then. You drop the chandelier and kill them all. Wait, how can you do that? To be honest, I have no idea. Jesus, so fucking many of them. all down here. Oh no. What the f- Oh no! I've run back up! What have I done? What have I done? Okay, just play it. Just be fucking calm. Be calm. Antidote. And one of these... What am I doing? Where's my fucking weapon gone? Did I really accidentally deselect? Fuck oh, me! Dead again. Dead again. It's getting difficult now, boys. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I'm back, gamers. The room you skipped. I skipped a room. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember. Okay, I'll go through there. We'll drop the chandelier. We'll do our bits. Can't believe I died again, man. 
absolutely disgusting. At least I remember where to go now. Oh, no I don't apparently. No I don't apparently. Oh my god. Let's just sprint through. It's very crunches through the wall. Go around. Over the bridge. Around we go. Let's get my blood echoes back. Who got my blood echoes? Not you, definitely. Stay away from me. I'm guessing it's this guy again. No? Get myself into the same predicament every single time where I have to fucking sit up here and fight these dudes, even though that's not what I want to be doing. Okay, where the fuck are my blood echoes? I actually have no idea where they are. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right, I need to just stop taking it so quick. Oh my god. Heal. Fuck off. Honestly, when those guys have the red eyes, they really do fuck you about. Okay. Fucker. Oh no, there's two of them. I'm not going to be able to kill two of them. Okay, so back to the room that I skipped. Oh wait, he's got my blood echoes. You. Gimme. There you go. Okay. And now we go back to here. This is... Very precarious. Am I doing this right? Are you winning, son? I found Sekiro the easiest, then Bloodborne. Dark Souls 1 was the hardest, in my opinion. I think Dark Souls 1, in a way, is the hardest just because it's so old at this point. I'm guessing I've gone the wrong way be honest but I mean we are blood star beast now so ritual blood these dudes are crazy okay Come on, bro. You dead, motherfucker. Madman's knowledge. Hmm. Blood Star Beast. I thought that was Blood Star Beast, though. That thing. Is that not Blood Star Beast? Go and grab this. Of course there's loads of crows around it, well they're not like shit throwaway enemies. Oh, I didn't realise you weren't dead. What's this gonna give me? More bloodstone shards. Fuck yes, we've got loads now. How many do we have? 
It's not in there, is it? Eleven bloodstone shards. <clears throat> ah, this is a shortcut, isn't it? Let's do this. There you go. You love to see it. Okay. Is this the way? Yeah, was that not Blood Starved Beast back there? I thought it was. For some reason. Just bound to happen really, that was very silly. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. They just absolutely fucked me from all angles then, that was horrible. What is that thing? So I've seen that. Did it drop something cool? Ah, three bloodstone shards. Holy fuck. <laughs> no, leave me alone. Don't like the werewolves. More bloodstone shards. Fucking hell. Yeah, Blood Star Beast is a little bit further actually, I remember it now. <coughs> <coughs> oh. There you go, there's one done. Another Bloodstone Shard? Fucking hell now Blood Star that's the that's a Blood Star Beast, but not the Blood Star Beast. Oh okay. It's a Blood Star Beast. Hey man, come over here, bro. Come, come hit me. Come hit me. I dare you, motherfucker. Oh, okay, he actually did hit me, but it doesn't matter. Now these dudes, compared to the beginning of the game, are absolutely nothing. They're absolutely nothing. Right. Is this an optional? Bit of oh my fucking god! That scared the shit out of me! Fuck you! You fucking cunt. Oh, we missed. Of course. Come on. Scared the motherfucking shit out of me. What's down this way then? Nothing. Ah, a little special item. Beast blood pellet. What the fuck are you doing here? Leave me alone, man. I knew that was going to happen for some reason. I knew I was going to turn around, I was going to come out of that fucking alley, and there was going to be a cunt there. Oh, that's scared. This dude jumping out of here, I forgot about him, and it scared me. Hey, fuck you, bro. I don't know if up is the right way, but I'm going to carry on going up. Why is there like so much to explore in these games? Like I forget how much of a tangent you go on when you just run around. Like it's not even like I'm necessarily lost, I'm just exploring. Because there's so much cool shit. Where the fuck are we going? What are we doing? 
James has gone mad. He's playing Mafia 3. I know. He's doing Mafia 3 and then he's going to Mafia 2. It's fucking mental. I don't know why he's playing it. It's such a sh piece of shit cunt game. Ah, fire paper. To be fair, that fire paper will be really useful against Blood Bloodstar Beast. I'll happily bang some of that on him. Wrong way. Okay, out this building we go. Don't think there's anything else in there for us. Let's carry on on, the, on our merry way. I don't want any more jump scares, please. Ah! Uh! The fuck is that noise? What's through here? Oh, it's you, you little fucking bastard. <clears throat> oh, of course I got poisoning. Of course I got poisoning. Oh, so what would we do without that antidote, eh? Jesus Christ, man. I'd level up and upgrade your weapon if I were you. Oh, we've literally come all this way, though. Oh, no, that dude's going to go sicko mode on us now, isn't he? Oh! Okay, maybe not as sicko mode as I was expecting, but to be honest, still pretty sicko mode, I ain't gonna lie. The full blood starved beast. Mm, I can't be asked to go all the way back, though, to be honest with you. Cannot be asked. Oh, more bloodstone shards. No, 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 come here. There you go. We got so many bloodstone shards now, it's kind of fucking mental. Hunter's mark. Okay, how about we put a bold hunter's mark on, yeah? So then we don't lose any of our, our blood echoes when we die. That sounds like a fucking plan, actually. Or is that. Does that take us back? What does the bold hunter's mark actually do? Let me Google it. Okay, yeah, we don't want to use that. We don't want to use that. Here we go, boys. There's the blood starved beast. Okay. Let's do this shit. Throw that wheel in. Get a Molotov on there. Yeah, this boss goes fucking crazy at the end. Like, look at this fucking shit. I'm gonna save some Molotovs and that last bit of urn, that last uh, oil urn for the end, when he starts going a little bit more crazy. So let's throw that oil urn on. Come on, blood starved. Come on, let me get some fucking hits on you, bro. There you go, that's what I wanted. Actually a horrible looking thing, isn't it? Disgusting looking thing. Okay, let's, we need some more fire paper. Come on, blood stab. Okay, that's another phase, isn't it? Let's throw the oil. Throw the Molotov. Oh, we got poisoning. Okay, antidote time. We missed the Molotov. There you go. Oh my god. Oh my god. We nearly no damage this, to be fair. That's kind of fucking mental. 
Okay, why do we still have poisoning? Oh no, let me drink the antidote, bro. There you go. Okay, heal up. Oh, okay, it's the particle effects do poison. Fuck. I did not know that. <coughs> Leave me alone. Okay, that was not good. That was not good at all. Okay, Molotov. Missed. Jesus fucking Christ. I need to activate this fire paper, man. Leave me alone. Come on. There you go. First try, boys. First try. You miss on you miss you, you underestimate my skill. Just fuck the blood starved beast. Okay. Back to the hunter's dream. Out we go. So where do we go from old Yarnum? Do we go back to Erden Chapel? Do me proud and kill the, that BSB, then you shall increase my favour by 300%. Does he have to first try for that 300%? No, he just has to beat it on second try at most. <laughs> oh, I love the bosses in this game so much. They're just so fucking good. Welcome home, good, Welcome home, good hunter. Right, I'm going to channel my blood echoes. Gonna get that endurance up a little bit. How much do they... We literally have so much... So many fucking blood echoes. You've increased your favour by 300%, George. <laughs> Thank you. Can we get a like on the stream for that for that fucking first try? Bloodstar Beast. Can we get a fucking like on the stream for that, boys? Anyone who hasn't liked, drop a like. Go ahead. Look how shiny my fucking head is right now. What's going on there? Right, look. Let's uh, let's get that endurance uh, vitality. To be fair, we could get it up to 20 and then just dump shit into skill. There you go. All right. Endurance is now up to 20, so we don't have to do anything with that no more. Can we buy fire paper from these dudes? No, we can't. That's a shame. Well, we can buy some blood vials, which would be quite useful. Actually, what do you mean buy blood vials? What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, let's upgrade uh, the old saw cleaver. Let's repair it first. Uh, fortify weapon. Wait, what? Use 280 blood echoes and bloodstone shard times 5 to fortify it. What's the difference between fortifying oh, blood gem fortification? Of course. We'll, we'll throw that on there. There you go. Okay, now blood. No, not blood gem. Fortify weapon. Okay. There you go. We now have a plus 3 weapon, is it? Have a look. Yeah, plus three. Drop a like or die. Yeah, that's kind of how it works, boys. Drop a like on the stream or just die. Well, okay. So where do we go after this? Do we go back to the Church of the Good Chalice or do we go back to Cathedral Ward? Or do we go back to Old Yarnum? I don't actually know. And of course, if you haven't already... But I bet you all have. Don't forget to subscribe to give the fox the maximum XP. Yes, you want to get maximum XP? Is Dr. Jordan Raptor? Dr. Jordan Raptor? Let's go explore a bit more old yarn. If there is any more to explore, that is. I don't really know if there is, to be honest. Unless there's a shortcut to getting back to normal Yarnum that I just don't know about. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Wow, we fucked that guy. Hey! See, that guy almost got me. That was cheeky as fuck. That was so utterly cheeky. Oh, that feels good to be doing more damage now. <coughs> Let's go up the tower. Is there actually nothing to do up here at all? Ah, what's this? This is what we opened before, wasn't it? Is this a shortcut? So, I don't actually know what this is. Look how nice this game looks. Holy fucking shit. Look at that. Man. It's a beautiful game, it really is. Cold do. Cold blood do, I mean. Ah, you. No. I really want to know what that item is. But I also can't be bothered to climb that ladder again. Okay, this is just old Yarnum, so this is just the way back. Okay. There you go, progress. We've killed Bloodstar Beast. We've killed Cleric Beast. And we've killed Father Gascoigne. So now it's time to find out where actually we need to go from here. Because I don't actually know. Some antidote. It was trying to warn us. That item was trying to warn us, like, bro, you're gonna need some antidote. I oh, don't have no Molotovs. That's a shame. Hey, bro. Too easy. That dude gives you a that dude seems to give you a bloodstone shard every time you kill him. I mean I guess you could farm it, but to be honest, who the fuck would want to farm it? Oh wait, of course. We're back in going back to Erden Chapel. Silly man. Oh one shot him. I hope this game gets a graphical upgrade or remaster or some sort. It just doesn't need a remake though, just a graphical upgrade. Yeah, I think it, it would be really nice if they had made this game 60 FPS, sort of touched it up a little bit. I'd really appreciate that. It's where the man with the dog is, isn't it? Little doggy. No, we don't actually need to kill him, let's just go. Back up to sort of Erden Chapel area. The, that coat the hunter's wearing gives me mad cheeky Van Helsing vibes. You'd love to see it. I've actually never watched Van Helsing, but... I have seen it on Netflix. If that's what you mean. I know Van Helsing, a lot of things are called... I don't actually know, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I know what Van Helsing is. All, all I know of Van Helsing is that it's a series on YouTube. And not YouTube, Netflix. Fucking hell. Right. I'm guessing we go out this way. Oh wait, no. This is Erden Chapel. So you went down that way. Let's try this. Let's give this way a go. Ah, this looks like the right way. Hey, man. Oh, didn't realise there was another one. Fucked. It will be free. Bloodborne at 60 FPS would be so much better, and maybe with a bit of the old ray tracing. Oh, could you imagine? Ray tracing Bloodborne. Just looking across Yarnum. Okay, there's definitely something I'm missing. I didn't realise there was one of you guys down there. Eh? 
Whoa, that scared the fuck out of me then. Jesus. So there's Erden. Erden Chapel. Oh! Oh no, that's the that's the fucking dude that steals you. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. This is the dude that steals you and sends you to the prison area. Oh, he's going sicko mode now. Leave me alone. He's the snatcher. He hits you with the bag. It's if he kills you, isn't it? Is it if he kills you? Or is it if he just grabs you? I know he takes you somewhere. You're going down, fool. Not today, bro. Not today. You could just go buy an item for 10k or go the long way, which is... Which I forgot where that was. You need to kill Bloodstarved Beast or buy a key to open the central middle gate. I've already killed Bloodstarved Beast. How do I get... Where do I buy the key from? Who do I buy it from? Do I just buy it from the... The lads? But I've killed the Bloodstarved Beast though. You can buy it at the Hunter's Dream. Okay. Let's return to the hunter's dream then. Wrong way. I'm pretty sure I've got some... Uh, a couple of things I can consume to get some blood echoes as well, actually. We should be alright. Adornment prized by the Knights of Canehurst. So the Canehurst armor is really fucking cool. From the shop. Okay, let's go to the lads. I'll bring the lads. Key to the Grand Cathedral's Round Plaza. Okay, let's let's just fucking buy it. But wait, you said buy the key or kill the Bloodstar Beast. But I've already killed the Bloodstar Beast. Then the lift should be open in Cathedral Ward. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Yeah, we'll just... Wait, what lift? Let's talk to Gammon again. I want to see if he's got anything to say. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt. Actually, tonight. don't buy it. Yeah. Because I've already killed the Bloodstar Beast. So it would be a complete waste of my echoes. Let's, uh, let's just go to Erden Chapel then. Oh no, did you say Cathedral Ward? That is Erden Chapel, isn't it? It's already open. Yeah, okay. Blood of Adela. Blood taken from Adela, none of the healing church. Restores an amount of HP, then continues to gradually restore HP for a short time. What an epic little weapon. I mean, not weapon, consumable. Also, boys, you haven't liked the stream already. Boys and girls, you know, you can't forget the girls either. If you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the stream. It would be much appreciated. I would, I really would appreciate it, honestly. Uh, it'll make me a really, really happy gamer. All right, where's this? Ah, there it is. Wait, I should have just, I should have upgraded. Let me upgrade first. Let me, let me do some leveling real quick. Also, watch out for Squid Bro. Those can steal in sight, and you will face one soon. I know, man. It's all good. We're gonna fuck him up. So let's let's consume all of the shit we got. Bunch of those. One of these. It's fair, should we just consume our fucking insight just to see if we can get to the point where we can see the amygdala? Because the more you get, the easier it is to see the amygdala. 
Oh, I did not mean to do that. Welcome home. What is it? Welcome home, good Very hunter. Well, okay, so now we just go skill vitality, skill vitality, just over and over and over again for the rest of time. Let's acquire some. Let's just fucking buy some blood vials. Because we are running out, to be fair. Feed reward. Man, this game is so fun though. You do the hours just fly off. They just fly by when you're playing Bloodborne, like and any of the Dark Souls games, really, like Dark Souls, Sekiro, Demon Souls. You just sort of get you get enveloped in the world, and you just you forget everything around you, bro. The more insight you get, the more aggressive those squid become. Ah, oh, fuck! I wish you would have told me. <laughs> Shit. That's fine. That's okay. We can fuck him up. Okay, I'm feeling... Yo! Okay! Yeah, that was my bad. I saw the chest and I was just like, come on. Communion. That's the first sign of many. Oh, I was just about to have a nice little look. Ah, we're at here. We're at this place. I know this place. Wrong way. I know this place. Because I fucking ran through this place so many times on my first playthrough. Oh, he's going to go down there, isn't he? Bastard. Right, let's just go the proper way then. Yeah, I ran through this area so many times on my first playthrough, it was kind of mad to be honest. This game definitely isn't as difficult on a second time playthrough though. Like, it's hard, don't get me wrong, like, it still is hard. It would be silly of me to say that it wasn't, to be honest. But at least you kind of know more you're standing when you've already played it once. Cursed Beast. Molotov. Blood Vial. Exhale the bullets. What's your favourite Bloodborne boss? Mine is Ludwig. Oh, is that the one from the DLC? I gotta say, my favourite boss is um, the Moon Presence. I think that boss is so cool. Or Gehrman. Gehrman's amazing as well. First Hunter Gehrman. But Moon Presence is a really cool boss. I loved, I loved playing that boss. Oh, I forgot there was a big dude up here. Come on, bro. Damn, I thought I was going to count as a visceral there. Not. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. There we go. Got some blood vials as well. Gotta pass up some blood vials. Get off the edge, old man. Thick cold blood. Ooh. I'll take it. Lady Maria and Orphan, of course, also were great. There's, there's so many good bosses in this game. So many. Oh, it's a note. The sky and the cosmos are one. Choir. It's a very little cryptic little text. In we go. Flamethrower geezer. Dude took a lot of hits to kill. Yo, there's another one. Jesus. This guy's crazy. Are 
Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. Don't actually know what the Hunter Badges do. I just got hair in my mouth and that was disgusting. Oh, we're still in there. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate getting hair in my mouth and shit. Disgusting. Wait, why have I gone back around here again? Let me check what's around the other side real quick. If you can't already tell, I absolutely love exploring in these games so much. Oh, more thick cold blood. Yes. That's what you want. That's what you want, man. What the fuck, George? You can't hit someone in a wheelchair. <laughs> I can do what the fuck I want, man. I can also destroy all these sacred burial urns. Oh, wait. Why is it? Ah, oh, no. We have to go. It's locked and you have to go back. You have to backtrack on yourself and then jump down a little gap, don't you? Honestly, if this, is my, if this was a blind playthrough, it would... Oh, I'm so glad I've already played this game, man. So fucking glad. Because this game blind, it takes you hours and hours and hours to figure out what the fuck is going on. Okay, let's go back down one more level. Down we go. Is that an item I just saw? No, I can't pass up for me some items, man. Free blood vials. I didn't even see them. Please tell me these are blood vials. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly full. I had another hair in my mouth. What the fuck? That's disgusting. Ah, there's the thing. Yeah, now give me your... Twin... Oh, twin bloodstone shards. Fuck yes. You love to see it, man. I know there's like a special door in here as well. Yeah, it's that door there. You have to get onto that platform and then jump down. Oh! There's a little alarm for me. Oh god! Oh my fucking god! hate shit like that. Ugh. Fucking hell. What's the next boss? I do not remember what the next boss is. Right. There we go. Can't believe that just happened. Honestly, the only stupid deaths I get are from not fucking concentrating or just falling off the edge. At least it's not too far away. All we need to do is just run around here. Jump off the edge and we should be back to where we were. Okay, my bloodstone shards are there. Not my bloodstone shards, my blood echoes. Keep getting everything mixed up. Okay. Vicar Amelia is the next boss. That is fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, we won't try to do that yet. I'm pretty sure that's where you get one of the... Uh, the um oh, is it the umbilical cords? Is that what it is? Oh, we got a messenger top hat. To be honest, I'm surprised they like they didn't put any enemies around this area because that would have just fucked you over to a different degree. Ah, there's a little thing here. Bit of madman's knowledge. Never hurt anyone. Oh no. I fucked it again. I fucked it again. Well, we could do the Witches of Hemwick. What's the Witches of Hemwick again? Aren't they like really easy? I 
Like none of the oh yeah, the witches of Henwick are really easy. To be honest, I'd like to tick them off the list. I would love to tick them off the list. Right, back up the elevator we go. We should send it back down actually. <coughs> In case we need to, just in case we die. Okay. The fact that I keep fucking these jumps is honestly, it breaks my heart. There's my blood fucking echoes. You're gonna get me even if it's the last thing that I do. Now where do we jump down to? Like it's definitely, okay we did it, okay, fucking hell. Jesus. Okay. I did not spot that dude there to be honest. He's just straight chilling. To be fair, he shouldn't have got up so slowly because that's pretty much his downfall. Beast. Six, 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 the number of the beast, bro. That's about this way. Oh, nothing, it's just a window. Onwards. Press on. Ah, here's an optional bit of dialogue. It's been a while. I wouldn't say so. That dude's just that dude's losing his mind in there. The cool thing is, if you return to a few of these people that you've spoken to. They actually do become beasts, they become afflicted. Oh, rumpled yarnum hat and sweaty clothes. Amazing. Why would I even take that? Yeah, mate, do you want. Oh no! It's the fucking bag snatcher. I don't like him. I'll literally go all the way up here to fucking stay away from him. So I'm not going to prison. It's so fucking extraterrestrially long getting out of there. Oh, we got some thick cold blood. Look, I don't actually know where this leads, but... Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's the shortcut! Oh, yeah! Is it? Yeah, it is! You know what? I'm glad we went up there now. I'm glad we went up there. I'm happy now, because now we have a shortcut to get back to where we were. Alright, watch out for the brain sucker, squid. I hate the noises these monsters make, it freaks me out big time. Oh yeah, honestly. That's one thing that uh, FromSoft have always done really well, is the sound design for these games. Numbing mist. Yeah, the sound design for these games is just fucking crazy, I'm not even going to lie. Okay, we don't want to go off there. Alright, back down the ladder we go. And back to the area where the bag snatcher was, I guess. I really don't like those guys. They're fucking terrifying. More thick cold blood. Oh, look, it's a spectral game. Nice. 
Man's absolutely done out here. Oh, it's the big lad. Wait for the big lad to pass. Oh, I forgot they could shoot little magic things out. No, 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 no. I don't know what those things do, but I dislike them. Oh, fuck off. Honestly. We're dying a lot now. We're coming into some... Coming into some unfortunate deaths. <clears throat> but at least we can go the shortcut way now. You know. All we have to do is just go straight out here. First time we did the orphanage area, it was at midnight 3am with a headset on. The area is scarier than most horror games first try. Yeah, honestly, Bloodborne does such a good job of atmosphere that... You do forget that you're not playing a horror... Like, technically it isn't a horror game. I won't classify Bloodborne as a horror game. It's just got such good atmosphere. Oh, come on. Don't kill me again. Not again, bro. Leave me out of it. Okay, through here we go. Yeah, my blood echoes. Give me him back. Yeah, boy. Okay, I fucking hate that ability. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm gonna let this dude come at me first. Nah. Oh my god, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead for sure just then. More thick cold blood. They do, they hit so fucking hard. No! Oh, for fuck's sake! This will be my last comment in the chat. You have gained all my favour. <laughs> Thank you very much, Doctor Dr. Jordan Raptor. I hope to see you come back to another stream in the future, my friend. Right, I want to kill like one more boss, then we can end the stream. Just, I want to get another boss. Just absolutely crunched. Okay, who's got my blood echoes this time? Man? Come on. Oh my god, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Nah, bro, I'm gonna die again. Fucking hell! It's absolutely fucked. Okay, this dude's gonna take a fucking hot second for me to kill. Now, while I'm deciding to do it on the stairs, like the most fucking shit, cunt, dangerous place. Wait. Oh, I completely forgot. I need to get my blood echoes back. Ah, let's open the door. How high is your inside? It's... Oh, wait, you can't see it. Oh, for this whole time, I, I completely forgot you couldn't see it. 
One second, let me move my webcam slightly down. There you go. This whole time, I wish someone would have told me. That's that's so shit. That's really shit. I'll have it slightly down so you can see my. St I, I can't believe I just fucking died. Again. Yeah, my insight is 16. There you go, you can see it now. Run on through here. Run up here. There you go. Got some blood vials for that, which I'll take happily. Okay, this is absolutely fucked. Okay, you come over here. Let me get my blood echoes. Actually, I don't even need you to come over here. Oh my god. I don't know why there's a dog down here. I genuinely have no idea. Right, I'm going to sprint back up. Kill this dude who's trying to shoot me. Okay, now it's time to take on big guy. Fuck, man. That swing is so long. Come on, big guy. I just need him in space so I can dodge his attack. Wow. How did that not kill me? I'm so fucking surprised, to be honest. Wait, why do I hear, like... Right, I just hear some fucking horrible sounds. See you again. Dude is so fucked, man. Oh my god, come on. Finally. All he gave us was a single bloodstone shard as well. What a piss take. Pretty sure there's only Madman's knowledge in this area, actually. So we can just sort of fuck off in this direction. Oh, I don't like these things. I fucking hate these guys. It's so horrible. Grim bloodstone shards, nice one. Anyone in here? Shining coins. <coughs> I see most enemies gain new attacks above 15 in sight. I think 45, or you have to defeat Rom the Spider. Honestly, Rom the Vacuous Spider is a scary little bastard. Big bastard, to be fair. I actually, I hate the spider in the in the the nightmare. What's it called? What's the, what's the fucking place called when the dude has the cage on his head? Fucking hate the spiders in that place. They're absolutely horrible. Okay, we don't have the password yet. We gotta go. Back the way we came. Well, at least we remember now that's a place of interest. So. I hate them. There's a sp yeah, there's, a sh there's huge spiders in this game. And there's like one boss called Rom the Vacuous Spider, which, uh... It looks fucking horrible to say the least. Like it actually looks disgusting. If I'm being honest. Okay, so we could go that way, or we could go 
Okay, so the only way left for us to go is this way. Oh my god. These do so much damage. More thick gold blood. I'll take it. Damn, we're running out of fucking blood boils here. Okay, so... Where does that gate lead that we just opened? More thick gold blood. Fucking hell. There's a spider boss with like 30 spider minions. Yeah, I know. It's, oh, it's horrible. Well, when you get up to that part in the game, I'm going to have to abscond. I cannot stand spiders. Neither can I. It's going to be fucking horrible. I hate that boss, and I hate... What's even worse is there's a bit right, right at the end of the game where there's more big spiders, but they actually look like normal spiders. And I'd say that's honestly even scarier, to be honest. Okay. Right. I feel so incredibly out of my depth at this current time. Get our health back. Okay, where does this lead? Oh, are we back in... How have we come all the way back here? I don't know. At least we've got a shortcut now anyway. Straight up here. <coughs> Around here. The fuck is this? I don't like this. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Oh right, okay, right. That's fucking perfectly normal thing to happen. Can't believe they got the drop on me like that. Right, just keep going. Keep pressing on. That's a big scary dude right there. Alright, boys. Do you wanna go? Okay, no, don't. Don't do that. Do we have any Molotovs? Should do. We have one. Singular Molotov. How'd they not kill me? That is the biggest, that is the question, man. How the fuck did they not kill me just then? That should not have happened. Right, I'm, I'm literally fucking flirting with death right here, to be honest. Though I guess it doesn't really matter because Erden Shackle is like right there. Right. Monocular. It's pretty funny actually, a monocular. Okay, now it's only you. Yo! Nearly got killed by a fucking crow. Embarrassing. This dude's swing is so fucking wide. Jesus Christ! No, don't kill me! Okay, I need some blood vials. Thank fuck. Jesus. Hey there, man. Okay, now it's time to fight this dude. Fire, paper, and rom is easily gone. You know, that's true, actually. I completely forgot that fire, paper fucks spiders up. There you go. Oh, I fucking hate this dude. Fucking ball and chain, man. There you go. Fucking hell. Oh, yes, he dropped three blood vials as well. Ah, bloodstone shards. You love to see it. It's 
a very eerie place. Come on, this is too good to be true, isn't it? It's a fucking chest in a corridor. Closed. Right, okay, that was apparently not too good to be true. I was expecting it to just fucking bait me, to be honest. Oh, this looks like no place for me to go. Oh, I'm going to have to backtrack then. No mimics in this game. No, I know there's no mimics, but there's still enemies that can like appear behind you and shit. Fuck you up. Okay, that's not where I want to go. I want to go down this way. And over to the church. Possibly. No. I don't know, this just leads back to Erden Chapel. Alright, we're going to have to go... Where the fuck was that bag snatcher? What the fuck is that noise? Well, that scared the fuck out of me just then. Honestly, these crows make such loud noises, it's horrible. <coughs> okay, that fuck, I thought we were about to get jump scared. <laughs> Honestly, I'm always on edge in these games. Whoa! Okay. What's that? Summon Henriette. Now, is this going to be a friendly or is this going to be someone I don't want to see? Because the, the Father Gascoigne one was um... Ah yes, Henriette! We got a friend! Yo, she looks like Jacob Fry. Let's go. Henriette! I love you, Henriette. You come with me. I'll look after you. And you'll look after me, I'm sure. Up we go. Just keep going. Okay, these dudes don't look happy. I'm pretty sure these dudes go absolutely fucking crazy with those things. Oh, is that like a curse effect or something or bleeding? I don't actually know, but it looks like it's getting worse. There you go. Visceral. Beautiful. Okay. That's the real horror. It's the fact that it looks like Jacob Fry. <coughs> Fair, you got a cool sword on me yet. A badass bitch. Ah, what's this then? Oh, somewhere we can't go yet. Alright, back we go. Not this way. I guess we just go into the church like any normal person would. Isn't this where you fight Eileen? Come on, Eileen. Look, there's amygdalas. Disgusting. Eileen's dead anyway, so it actually doesn't even matter. But yeah, I think this is where you fight her, actually. Yeah, it is. Who's this? Boss fight time! 
Oh, it's her. I remember this boss. Honestly, the designs of Dark, like Demon Souls and Dark Souls and Bloodborne characters, like look how good that looks. So stylized. This really makes you want to play, but I already completed this game 15 times or so. Fucking hell, 15 times. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucked, dude. <coughs> also, if you haven't liked the stream already, be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the stream. And if you're not thinking of liking it just yet, watch us fucking first try this boss, and then you can go ahead and like it. Let's do this shit. We've got fire paper. That's all we need. It looks like a big dog. Sort of. Big weird dog looking thing. I do have fire paper. Come on, girl. Let's dance. Let's dance, motherfucker. Oh, she's coming for me again. Oh, she swapped me in the face then. <laughs> as if I just said I was going to first try it as well. Fuck. I feel embarrassed now. <laughs> Alright, back, back we go. I don't actually know how to get back there, to be honest. <coughs> right. It's fine. It's fine. Look, we're just going to go back there, and everything's going to be fine. If I can remember my way back there. Is it that way? Fucking hell, I actually don't know. I think it's this way. Oops. I think you are a little bit under leveled. Nah, 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 nah. I'll be fine. Are you 35 yet? Mmm, I actually don't know. Doesn't matter though, to be honest. Wait, so you come through here, we go... Wait, where the fuck am I going? I've actually forgotten how to get there. So, before we just went straight through this way. Ended up back at Erden. Yeah, let me check what my stats are. I'm level 29. We should be able to do it. I don't see why not. Jesus, that dude. Absolutely trying to do me. Okay, it's this way, isn't it? Where is it? I mean, it is a graveyard. Graveyards tend to be near churches. Hey, look. Just, I'm trying to kill this little fella, alright? Just leave me. How did I not take any damage trying to do that just then? What the fuck? This is the wrong way. Biggest cathedral. There are so many fucking cathedrals in uh, in Yarnum, aren't there? That man, just leave me alone. Okay, so back up we go. Ah, uh, then we went this way. And then we went... I actually don't know anymore. <clears throat> this way? Are we completely going back on ourselves here? I think we are. Yeah, we're literally going completely back on ourselves. That's in the direction of Old Yarnum. I get lost very easily in these games, if you can't tell. Like, sometimes I just genuinely don't know. Wrong way again. You could defeat her, but it's going to be hard. Be sure to dodge to the left. Fighting Amelia. Okay. I reckon we'll be able to do it. He'll be fine. Where do I go, though? I'm so stupidly lost. Poison knife. Just wandering the streets of Yarnum. 
Wait, this is not where I want to be. This is not a good place to be right now. I don't want to be there. Oh, just leave me alone. The big central in the middle is only one way up, and that's where you have to be. <coughs> what? This place. The biggest chapel. So that one. Over there. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, it's the one with the big fuck off stairs. Okay. Got there eventually. Oh, that dude was out for blood just then. Fucking hell. Alright, let's heal up. Fire paper up. Let's dance. Oh, accidentally put my light on there. Okay, so you got to dodge to the left. I see, I see, I see. Was that a chance to do like a visceral attack just then? Okay. Chill out. Loads of damage. Okay, right. Okay, we don't have any more fire paper either, so this is going to be a little bit fucked. Is she like a massive werewolf? What is that? Oh no! I'll watch her kill me in one fucking hit. Okay, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Okay. Oh wait, she's fucking healing? I forgot, I didn't know she could do that. I think she didn't know at all she could do that. Yo, she's going crazy. She's going sicko mode. Okay, it's all good. We're on top of things. She only attack with one hand. Fuck. 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Jesus, let me heal, let me heal. Come on, Vicar Amelia. There you go. Under leveled. What are you saying? What are you saying? Under leveled, bro. Under leveled. Eat my ass. Eat my ass, Vicar Amelia. Oh, I forgot to pick up my blood echoes as well. You know what? We've actually nearly got enough for uh, the Blade of Mercy. <coughs> <coughs> Those shrieks, that, honestly, those shrieks are horrifying. For real. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No. GG, dude. Thank you very much. Can we get a like on the stream for that fucking display right there, boys? I love this game so much. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. By the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. 
Fear the old blood, boys. Take my leave. Right. You know what? I reckon if we kill a few enemies, just quickly get the Blades of Mercy, that would be a good place to end the stream. <coughs> Fear it, Lawrence. bit of lore for you there. There is a backstory behind that dude, but I, I honestly have forgotten it. Okay, well let's... Uh... Wait, I think we should be able to have... Actually, let me check real quick. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, we have loads of these cold bloods. We should be able to get the Blades of Mercy now. By the way, do you know how to get to the School of Mensis? Uh, I, I was there before. In my last playthrough, I remember being there. Is that an optional area as well? We're literally 60. Look at that. Let's go get. Uh, let's go get the Blades of Mercy. Can you say fucking have it, you cunt, when you see an enemy, <laughs> when you kill an enemy? That is the skull of Lawrence. He is a boss in the DLC. Ah, I see. Okay, let's let's buy the Blades of Mercy. There you go. Ah, feels good. Feels good. There you have it, boys. Oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, it's so cool. Look how sick that is. Oh, this is what I wanted to get in my last playthrough, but I only really found out about, about them like, just as I finished the game. Okay. It is... Uh, it is you can get there early to farm. Echo is the best farming spot. That's pretty cool. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Go. Plus four weapon. Let's give it a blood gem as well. Okay. Okay, there you go. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end, to be honest. Let's see if we can do any leveling real quick. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? I desire well. some upgrades. Uh, we actually can't do anything just yet. That's fine. Farewell. Right, so there you have it, boys. We uh, we got the Blades of Mercy. We've killed like what four or five bosses? I think it's four. We killed uh, Cleric Beast, Gascoin, Bloodstar Beast, and now whatever that woman's name was. I've actually forgot her name. Um, there you go. I think that was some pretty good progress into the game. Uh, obviously, we'll be back. Possibly on Saturday. I might take tomorrow off just because it is streaming every single day is kind of fucked. Um, maybe we're we'll back Saturday in the day. We can do a long stream. We we'll do like a really long stream throughout the day. Um, I'll think about it. I'll see. What, I'll see what we're saying anyway. Anyways, like the stream if you haven't already. We're like five likes away from a hundred. If you guys could smash that, it would be amazing. Uh, just just for that under leveled fight with um, what was her name? What was her name? Vicar Amelia, there you go. Yeah, um... Give us a like for that, because we are under-leveled. We're, we're only level... 29 still. Uh, but yeah, we've got Blades of Mercy. I can't wait to try these out. They're going to be so fun. I've actually never used these in the game before. But yeah. It's been a really good stream. Um, I love Bloodborne. I'm really happy to be playing it again. Uh, it's definitely one of this generation's best games out there, so it's it's really nice to be able to actually play it on stream. And I want to thank you all for showing up. Uh, basically, I uh, hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you are in the world. And uh, thanks for showing up. I'll make an event for the next stream uh, as, as soon as I can, as soon as I decide which day I want to do it on. Anyway, thanks for showing up, everyone. Take care. <laughs>